We are live. We are live. We are live. What's up, squad? I made it. Made it to another day. Y'all go ahead and like and share, like and share, like and share, and we will get started in just a minute. Get ready, because you about to be an ATL. That's your being a blogger. More than a blogger. That's your being a blogger. You are more than I am more than That's your being a blogger. trying to read me hey y'all hey y'all hey y'all what's up what's up what's up happy monday not uh dl shula over there dl you're supposed to be over there on facebook okay you're supposed to be on facebook i see you over here on youtube trying to hold it down but head on over to facebook facebook is streaming right now as well okay yes the bang yang 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 not the bang guy rebang it's the same bang chat hey y'all come on in hey quasia what's up stephanie what's up what's up what's up um what y'all say hold on what you say hey princess ag shout out to my mods princess agc patterson side eye simply uh sherelle and uh kiki shout out to all the mods shout out to my patreons in the building and look look, look you see all these people in the green those are our channel sponsors. You could be a channel sponsor too. Only thing I do is click that join button right below. Hey, somebody talk about some nonstop November ended yesterday. No, it didn't. I, I dropped two whole videos yesterday. Where you been? Okay. Nonstop November means I will be posting every day in the month of November. Does it mean I will be live every day? Absolutely not. I make the rules right here. I am my boss. <laughs> not you. You're not the boss of me. But you will be getting something every day on this channel. So uh, definitely click that notification bell so that you will be notified as soon as a video drops. Okay? I know some of y'all be like, oh, I didn't seen this before. But you ain't seen what I be posting. I clip up some of the longer videos and like put a little zhuzh in them. So it's a completely different video. And like a lot of y'all who be in these lives, I know y'all love the lives. Y'all love to talk to me. We be in the chat. We be having a good old time. People who watch the short videos aren't the people who gonna sit through these two hour live streams. I'm just letting you know, it's two different audiences, okay? So I cut up the shorter videos so for the people who don't be wanting to sit over here and chill with us, okay? But you can watch them over again as well. You know, it's, it's, it's a thing. You know, we've been doing this for a while. If you do here, that's how we do. If you think you've seen it before, you probably have. It's just was in a two hour video, all right? Uh, yes. And don't forget our lovely, lovely, lovely Patreon supporters. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. I know I, I owe y'all the world. Okay. Hopefully y'all get y'all sweatshirts and stuff this week, y'all gifts and stuff, but you know, we still got to do game night. I know, I know, I know. And Mr. Motivation, don't be calling me asking me if we go into Patreon tonight. <laughs> don't be calling me and asking me if we go into Patreon tonight. You know why? Because I done had a hard day. Today drained me. Okay. Today drained me. Copyright Marlo Hampton. 
<laughs> the day has drained me. I, I I had my colonoscopy today. I'm good. My, like everything in my colon is well. I know that's TMI, but I'm just letting you know, if you need to go get checked too, I mean, colon cancer is on the rise. Okay. Get your breast checked. Get your booty checked. Get everything checked. Okay. They put me to sleep. This is the best 30 minute sleep I ever had. <laughs> It's the best 30 minutes sleep I have had. And here I am. They said, don't go to work. They told me don't go to work. Don't make no, no big decisions today. Don't do none of that. But yet here I am talking to y'all. <laughs> Everything is clear. Okay. I, listen, y'all know. Some of y'all had it already. Y'all know about that prep and what all you got to drink and what you be doing. Oh, child, I had me a good old time in the bathroom. Okay, but anyway, I'm digressing. Okay, <laughs> probably lost about 10 more pounds. Anywho, moving on. Uh, like this video. You said the work is my playground. Sometimes it is, and sometimes it's work. Okay, y'all say hey to Biggie. You want to say hey? Hey, Biggie. Hey, Biggie. How you doing? Yes, look at you. You look at all cute. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, Biggie. You want to go outside? You don't want to go outside, do you? Okay, well, go to sleep then. All right. <laughs> we can just be sitting there looking at me like, who is she talking to? He said, we're going to watch the fight. Okay, look, look, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. Okay, I got a whole agenda that I have prepared for you. <coughs> I did put Tasha K fight up at the top. I don't know why, but I put it there because I was going to talk about it and then I decided I wasn't going to talk about it. That's why it's not in the title, but it is on my agenda. I had Candy responding to the divorce rumors. Biggie, who are you barking at? Don't be barking now. We we working right now. I got Candy responding to divorce rumors and I think he was trying to throw a little shade at me. I felt the ways. We're going to look at it. Uh, and shout out to Sherelle's world for also shouting me out. I pray, you know, I be seeing stuff, okay? And people be telling me stuff. And I appreciate the content creators who appreciate me. And I appreciate them as well, okay? Because it's hard out here for a pimp. And I know it's hard out here for y'all too. Because everybody don't be supporting everybody. But the people who do support you, salute to them, okay? I salute y'all. Um, we, We're going to talk about candy. Again, you know, I got candy, 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 because y'all love talking about candy. Um, we're gonna talk about Kenya and Usher. You know, Kenya loving on Usher. I'm, I don't know where Usher uh girlfriends, wives, and ex-wives that you know they be feeling the ways when somebody around Usher. And I'm talking about why he didn't serenade Candy, but okay, we're gonna talk about it. I might have to go into the archives. Let me write that down. Candy Usher Archive. <laughs> Oh, you ever wonder why Candy and Tamika don't be uh, hanging out together and they in Atlanta? You don't never see Candy Burris and uh, Tamika Raymond around each other. Oh, that's some intel. I ain't gonna tell y'all that. Anyway, I'm digressing. Um, can... <laughs> oh, these secrets in my head that can't come out. Uh, Kenya, we're gonna talk about Kenya, and she, you know, gave an update on her salon. Uh, hey, bitch, where are they? Shout out to bitch. We're going to talk about Kenya and an update on her salon. Uh, we're also going to talk about Married to Medicine because y'all got me watching that. And Phaedra made her Married to Medicine debut. And I watched it. I guess I'll talk about it a little bit or y'all can talk to me about it. But there's that. We're going to talk. That's what we got on the agenda. I don't know where I'm going to start, but that's what we got. Uh, you said Candy Pay Usher. <laughs> Wait, Candy Pay Usher. The serenade. Oh, what? I don't know what had happened. What? Sherelle is a little person with a big mouth. Y'all don't be doing that. Listen, y'all be watching us. And then y'all be trying to drag us too. Don't be doing that. Y'all like us. I don't care. Y'all be caught. Y'all said I had on my mama Joyce week. <laughs> it was a bad angle when I was sitting in my bedroom. It was a bad angle. And I had my glasses on because I couldn't see. Y'all talk about some. She looking like Mama Just and Mama Just. I should have never said that because y'all ain't gonna let it go. Okay, y'all is not gonna let it go. But that's okay. I got my Mama Joyce wig on. That's okay. Salute to Mama Joyce and her bang yang. Okay. Uh <laughs> you said start with candy and the divorce rumors. I'm gonna get the candy in a minute. I'm gonna get the candy. That damn heavily and Phaedra had me L O L in. Okay. Hmm, who should I start with? Let me go ahead and start at the bottom. Let me start in the ghetto. <laughs> oh, 
the ghetto, the ghetto, talking about the ghetto. Why is Tosh K in these streets fighting? <laughs> I wasn't gonna talk about it, but why? I'm let me pull it up. It's on the neighborhood top. Why is can uh candy lord? Why is Tasha K in these streets fighting people? Can somebody please let me know? Cause I want to know. So apparently she was at a uh uh an event. The We in Miami podcast had an event over the weekend, an influencer party or something of that sort. And uh look look at this look at this screenshot. Look at her with this dress on with her legs wide open and the man up under there. Like I'm just like what is happening in this? What is going on? And you got your good heels on, your good gold slippers, hidden heels. What are you doing? So Tosh K was out and apparently she said some man disrespected her and she handled them. She put her pants on. <laughs> A big girl panties on, and she stumped them out. Let's see what happened. Hold on, y'all know the copyright disclaimer, yada yada yada. And disclaimer, we do not condone violence and bullying around here. This might not even be a fight. This might be a skit, but for intents and all intents and purposes, we just we just watching it for entertainment value. We do not condone. <laughs> What is happening? What? What is this? What is? You see her leg going up? Is this the Mortal Kombat? Y'all remember Mortal Kombat? Y'all, what is the the Karate Kid when they do the and they bring the leg up? Like, what is this? What is happening? I'm so confused and confused. I. Wow. You said make it big. Wow. You said another lawsuit. Well, what if he was harassing her and she just had to like, you know, come to her own aid? I don't know. I ain't fighting. I ain't fighting for nobody. I'm just letting you know. What the hell? What the hell? And then she got all these from But here's the thing. How they get five different candle camera angles? They got the angle from up there. They got the angle from down there. They got somebody holding a camera down there. How did they know this fight was going to break out? Biggie, stop it. Did they know the fight was going to break out? You said play it again. I'm going to play it again. I just, I'm just, i just trying to dissect it. You know how we do. You said the man responded. Child, I ain't even seen that part yet. Where the man responded at? Hold on. You said he ran it on stage. <laughs> now he ran it on the stage. Lord, you said this the one time I agreed with Tasha K. She can handle herself correctly. Would you be out there fighting in your dress and your heels? What is happening? Let me turn this music off. Wait, it did. There she go. There she go. She said, "Wait, what?" There she go. That they, they holding her back. Then she stumped them. She kicked them in. The, she did. Ooh, ow. She tapped. Ooh. Then all the men. Her, she the only woman out there with a purse fighting. Let the men handle it. Let the men have. I'm just saying, y'all talk about baiting. Who can't nobody bait me like that? Can't no, can't. I'm sorry. I well, her husband was fighting too. Well, he would have been fighting by himself, and I would have been in the corner protected. Oh, oh, don't get hurt. Don't hit my man. Oh, my nails. Oh, my shoes. I ain't fighting nobody. Uh uh-uh. uh. But salute to her. I mean. That's what you want to do. Salute to Tosh K. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Y'all said he responded. What he responded at? Let me go see. Let me go look. Mm-hmm. You have 45 special reasons why you don't. You said, what? Why you would never. Okay. That angle looks like she didn't have no drawers on. Lord. I'm trying to look for the response. Y'all tell me where the response at. Um, hmm, let me see. Let me see. I don't see no response over here. Where am I? Hmm. I don't see no response on this side. Let me go to the neighborhood talk. See if I see a response over there. Hold on. Mods, where the response at? You said, well, oh, not not y'all calling her a her husband a sissy. Uh-uh. <laughs> not y'all. What? 
wait, the husband is African and he's not fighting anybody. He knows better. What? No jumper. Oh, okay. Go to J Graham on Instagram. Okay, hold on. Whoever that is, I don't know. J Y G R A M. Let me see. Who is he? What he? This the man, J. What he responded? He that ain't him. Y'all just y'all just promote y'all on Instagrams because that ain't him. But he ain't said nothing. He ain't posted in five weeks. Whoever that is. Um, what y'all say? Uh, okay. Well, I don't care about him. Y'all know it's certain people. I, I don't deal with other content creators like that. Nah. You know, flaming Monroe. <laughs> not flame Monroe, but flaming Monroe is not, you know, we don't, we don't deal with him over here. Okay. Not Tasha K's old protege. We don't, we don't deal with him over here, but you know, salute to him. Um, moving on. Let me go ahead and go. Look, 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 look. If Tasha K was fighting a man and that man disrespected her first, I don't, I don't, I just don't see me laying hands on nobody. I don't think that's ladylike and I would not be fighting. However, if that's how she chose to handle it, so be it. It looked like she had enough adrenaline and testosterone to, to lay hands. So why her keep saying watch it again? Y'all want to watch that again? Hold on. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let me go see it again. Where is the Tasha K fight again? Yeah. Uh, we in Miami podcast. Okay, hold on. Here it is. One more time for the people in the back. For the people in the back. The people in the green dress. Hold on. Here it is. Bam, bam. <sighs> Oh, child, what is happening? Oh, she, she's angry. I don't know. Is it a skit? What is happening? I don't know. They, it don't look like a skit. She look like she mad for real. I'm not fighting no man either. Mm -mm. She's a Floridian. You think the Floridians be out there fighting like that? Tash K always claimed to be from the trenches. But how old is too old? You said I thought Flame Monroe was in the chat. No, I like Flame Monroe. I said Flaming. <laughs> flaming. F L A M I N G Monroe. Not Flame. That's two different people. Uh, they didn't have enough bodyguards. Mm, mm, mm. Oh well, I just went not with the superwoman kick. Yeah, she lifted her legs up. Anyway, you said you tagged me in the video on Instagram. Hold on, let me go see. <laughs> Instagram. Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. Lord, y'all got me using the wrong phone. Instagram. Put my airplay back up. Use this phone. I have too many phones. This is a live video. So as y'all get in here, go ahead and like this video. Please and thank you. You know, live videos, we just be doing it and doing it and doing it well. Oh no. You know, I'm not logged into my real uh Instagram on my computer. Because too many people have blocked me. So, okay. Sent me a real. Oh, no. That ain't it. Is it in the general? Mm-mm. Is it in the request? Lord. I don't see it. What you had tagged me? Oh, you tagged me. I'm up there looking at my messages. Okay. Let me go back to the tag. All right. Uh, I don't see no tag. Oh, two minutes ago. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I see it. I see it. I see it. Oh, you look a mess. Hold on. Oh, I see. I see his name. You gave me the wrong name at first. You said that, and it's this underscore 1985. Now, let's see what the man she stumped out had to say. Wait. J A Y. Okay, there it is. One M. Okay, let me go here, let me go here, oh, let me go here, and let me, this is investigations, okay, you said, what was her bloomers, I don't know, but they said, this the man, someone tell we in Miami podcast to get me on day show, D-E-Y, on day show, to set the record straight, S-T-R and the letter eight, set ninjas, for little old me, LOL. Oh, yeah. 
my back and my back. What? My back and my back. Okay. My back and my back. Let's see what he had to say. Yeah, baby. What, you thought I finna shy away from this shit you know you talking to? No. Yeah, it's true. Tasha K had her niggas run down on me. Uh-uh. Because oh, I told her she looking good tonight with that fat ass. That's all Ooh. I said. I ain't calling no bitch, no hoe, no Ooh. disrespect for no nothing, but we're just having our minds. We got to put our hands on people because of some... Oh, look at them scratches. Some things look at they them don't like. All I told her was she was, had a fat ass and she was looking good. No disrespect. She might not have wanted to hear that, but them niggas done ran up on me like I done grabbed the pussy or something. Come on, baby. You think I'm finna shy away from that? Man, them niggas was pussy. You had five niggas jump down on me, man. That's all you got going? Come on, baby. You gonna need some new security fucking around with a nigga like me. You feel me? But we're not gonna get to that. You know, I try to, I don't try to, I don't try to condone violence, you know? But, tell Tasha K my neck and my back. You know, I'm traumatized, you know what I'm saying? I, I woke up, I, 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 ah! That's how I've been feeling since I woke, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucked up. Yeah, this ain't nothing. He ain't do it. I tell him. It's somebody just trying to get some clout. He ain't do it. I don't even see no scars. I just see a whole bunch of band-aids. I just see a whole bunch of band-aids. You said it's the band-aid on the forehead. Okay, that's why she kicked him with them golden slippers. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. You said it's a lawsuit. He trying to get some money. I don't think this is the real man. If you look at him, hold on, look at it without no sound. If you look at him with the band-aids, where the blood, where the knots, where the bruises? Ain't no bruises. They just band-aids. It's just band. This just somebody who did a video, child. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at this. Where's the bruises? Where's the knot on the forehead? Uh, anyway, it was entertaining while it lasted. You said that's him. Y'all said it's him. Well, I mean, we'll see how this all turns out. <laughs> well, listen, y'all know I like watching from the sidelines. We'll see how it all turns out. Allegedly, according to this gentleman, well, I'm not going to even call him no gentleman. According to this dude, he has said that uh, he said Tosh K has, has had a fat ass and they jumped him. That's what he said. So I don't believe it because, <laughs> hey, does Tosh K have a fat ass? <laughs> anyway, moving on. Like this video. <laughs> I just I I just don't know. All I know is Tosh K got the, the, the karate kid stance on him and kicked him. And then there's four different angles of the video. Chade is making it do what it do what it do. He said his body is not scraped up. It is not. And some of them band-aids falling off and stuff. <sighs> Y'all believe anything on these internets. <laughs> he said, you don't recall her having a fat head. <laughs> Man, I never, I don't know. I've never seen an ass. I just don't recall her having a fat ass. I don't know. But moving on, like this video as y'all get in here. Uh, who we got on here? Let's see, Candy and Kenya. I'm so tired of Candy. Candy, Candy, Candy. Let's go ahead and talk about Candy. You y'all know I always talk about Candy. <laughs> if I'm not talking about Candy, uh, I'm talking about Candy. Um, listen. Do y'all know we've been talking about Candy the past couple of weeks about Candy and Todd and Todd Tucker TV and how on Todd Tucker TV, Todd been like collecting evidence for his pending divorce trial, <laughs> allegedly. How, you know, we feel like he going to uh, 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 contest the prenup and try to get uh, custody of the kids and get child support. He trying to get all his ducks in a row and he's doing it on camera, uh, you know, from what I can tell. I mean, I don't know if this is factual or not. I'm just saying. It's just from my observation. All of his videos are Candy left my name off the house. Candy holding me in the house. Now, what is Candy's body count? Candy sleeping with men and women. It's like, damn, he done already like getting all the stuff together for fornication, adultery. <laughs> Todd is like, I got you. I got you, bitch. But anyway, but according to Candy, Candy said it's all a farce. This is what Candy said. I think she was throwing shade at me. This, listen, listen. She was asked about it on the red carpet, and here's what Candy had to say. Y'all know what it is. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, coming news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. What are we doing, y'all? Huh? Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm going to 
Let's listen. That's how Dina. How are you and Todd doing? We're doing great. Uh, he's in here somewhere. I saw somebody trying to start a room and we broke up. And that is. Uh, uh, you saw somebody trying to start a room and we broke up. <laughs> I saw somebody start a room and we broke up. He's in here. What is he? I thought I had him right here on my leash. <laughs> I know he wasn't supposed to go, but five feet away from me during these interviews, so you know everybody can see us together. Where he at? I'm gonna rewind it just so y'all can see this cringe-worthy interview. How are you and Todd doing? We doing great. Uh, he's in here somewhere. I saw somebody trying to start a room, and we broke up, and that is so far from the truth. Oh, she just looked at the camera and said, "Look." He got loose. <laughs> Y'all is crazy in these covers. Not flip the mattress. She talk about Sandra. I've seen it before. Sandra. Sandra said, oh, Sandra had the blind item up and said that uh they might be in divorce and that Todd had moved out. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, every day she's showing us Todd and, you know, here go Todd. Todd, kiss me on the cheek. Here go Todd. Todd, Todd is right here somewhere. I saw somebody trying to start a room and we broke up, and that is so far from the truth. Honey, we together all the time. We together all the time. Yes. Yeah. We're doing good. You do. Honey, we together all the time. <laughs> what married person got to tell you that, honey? We together all the time. One Todd just complaining about being with you all the time. Just, just the other day when he said you can't keep a man chained up in the house like a dog, and now he go candy in the interview telling you flexing her money and her muscles telling you that Todd is right here where I pay him to be. All the time. Together all the time. Yes. Yeah. We're doing good. You're doing good. Better than ever. Yeah. 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 Like, um, we just got a lot of great things happening. Oh. Some I can talk about, some I can't, but yeah, yeah like hard when rumors like that come up or do you kind of laugh them off? No, I just, I mean, it's not hard. I mean, we're used to it. I just laugh it off because sometimes it's outrageous because I'd be like, now somebody just hate me and just sit there and make up stuff. Right. But it sounds like candy be in the chat. Do y'all be seeing these comments all the time? They be saying Michelle make up stuff. Don't like you listen to what the way people talk and you listen to the way some people type in the chat. One of these trolls in the chat is candy. <laughs> Keep talking about Michelle be making up stuff. That's exactly that was the word make it up stuff. And she just said that make it up stuff. Did I make it up or did Todd say it? Wait a minute. I'm just trying to figure this out. My jazz bill in just because I was like, now somebody just hate me and just sit there and make up stuff, right? But I was like, whatever, yeah. Do you ever feel like the strain of uh, reality TV has put any pressure on your marriage? Because, like, obviously, we just saw Kyle and Mauricio split and things like that. Do you feel like that's ever happened to you and Todd? Well, see, I always say that our relationship is a little different it's because most of the people that are married on the show they came onto the show married. So with Todd and I, you know, he was our, he was a producer, you know what I mean? Now she got to explain how they got together. This is interesting that she's even responding to this in this manner. Like she literally on the red carpet, like responding to these marital romans. Mm, interesting. So with Todd and I, you know, he was our, he was a producer, you know what I mean? So he knows that world. And then we got married as we were on the show. So he, I think we just kind of know how it goes and yeah. we don't take it to heart. Yeah. You know, some of the negativity and drama online. <clears throat> Thank you, Princess AG. Todd Tucker said it out of his own mouth. Todd Tucker called Candy nasty. Todd Tucker said that Candy had uh, bodies on both sides and that she was running the numbers up. Okay. Todd Tucker said that when he came in the house, so many people had ran in and out the house. He don't even know if she didn't flip the mattress. Those were Todd Tucker's words. He was saying this about his wife. Todd Tucker also said that Candy's friends are his friends and she would not allow him to have any other friends and that, um, you know, she keep him chained in the house like a dog. Those were Todd Tucker's work. Now, y'all go support Todd on his channel, Todd Tucker TV, where he sits and gripes every day about his issues with his marriage. Now, is it strategy just for clicks and views? Is it, you know, collecting evidence? I don't know. But if this was my husband, I wouldn't want my husband playing online, making it seem like our, our marriage is just in shambles. Would you? <laughs>
would you want your man over there calling you nasty? Like Wendy Williams had called her nasty and disgusting. Like, why would you? I just don't get it. And y'all keep saying it's all a scheme set up by Todd. I mean, to, to keep Candy on the show since, you know, nobody knows if they coming back or not. But mm, no, like, you know, somebody said, who was it? Dr. Heavenly on the Bravo panel said her, her relationship is not for sale. Well, clearly Candy's is if that's the case. Okay. Candy's relationship is up for, for sale to the highest bidder. As long as Bravo cut the check, they will talk shit about each other. I, I don't get it. He said, Miss Dunn won be in the chats. Okay, then they thank you so much. Uh, Candy trying to keep her peach, maybe a storyline. Well, I mean, here's the thing there's they, they aren't taping, we don't know who's coming back. Uh, literally, they was just that Bravo con confused like a mug. They were just talking about it like, should there be a shakeup? Should there not be a shakeup? Bravo throwing shade, posting tweets saying, you know, the, the ladies of the real housewives said, say their final goodbyes. I just did a video about that the other day. Also, they posted on their Instagram in their Instagram broadcast, uh, all good things come to an end, but Bravo con is forever. What, who are they shading? Are they uh, telling, giving the fans all these clues that at least one of these shows is ending? You know, all good things come to an end. Where did that come from and why? I don't understand. Are they trolling us? Hmm, I don't know. Um, and it's crazy because you secretly done what? It's crazy because during BravoCon is when they normally introduce all the new shows, what shows are coming back, what shows have been renewed. We haven't heard anything about Candy's OLG and the gang. Remember, she was so excited to tell y'all that OLG and the gang had been picked back up. But I guess now since Keith Lee and dragged her from here to hell. <laughs> Like you don't want to talk about them restaurants no more. And then what what else? We have they haven't talked about the housewives. They haven't gave us any indication of when or if they'll ever be back. The only thing they keep talking about is reboot, 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 all on the damn red carpet. That's the only question they kept asking all of the Bravo liberties from the housewives was they say they're going to be a reboot. What do you think about a reboot? And it's like everybody's asking the same question. If it wasn't that, it was about KKK Kim Zosiak's, uh problems. Like they're going to bring Kim back or something like we care. But yeah, you said it was canceled before it started. Yeah. You said BravoCon was a money grab. It looks so pointless. What is that every year? I mean, it's just for, I guess, the fans of the network to come together, I guess. They're born looking for a new storyline. Well, that's that. Well, Candy and Kenya, it seems like uh, they are banded together. You know, the alliance is still together. They still together. And um, on the red carpet yet again, look at it. Why they catch Kenya like this? Why they showed us Kenya's, uh, what do you call it? Crow feet on her eyes. Why they had to zoom in like that? They, I didn't do this. Now they did. So this is extra TV. It said Candy and Kenya. Kenya Moore and Candy Birds react to calls to reboot RHOA. Let's see what they had said. Yes. They was zooming. You know what's so shady? I think the I, oops. I think the cameraman wanted to see if she had uh had contacts. Yeah. So far, any drama? I think no. the cameraman was like, are there are those contact lenses? I think those are contact lenses. What y'all think? I don't know, but it's it was kind of weird. But anyway. You said it's a dark soul in her eyes. Oh, y'all are so shady. You said Kenya looks good. I didn't say she did. She looked bad. I'm just saying, you know, she looked her age. Kenya is beautiful. Yeah. Been so far. Any drama? <laughs> no. Well, not for me. No, no drama. We of just course. got here, though. Yeah, we just got here. <laughs> we are the drama, so I'm sure something is. Gonna <sighs> Kenya and Miss, they are the drama. Freaking frack, the alliance, Candy Kenya. I told you, one or both needs to go. Okay. One or both needs to go. These two need to be split up. They need to break up this alliance if they're coming back at all. It's going to happen at Am I the drama? <laughs> Between the two of you. Right. I would say you. <laughs> I, would, I would concur. Yeah, okay, so we compiled them. Can we can we stop giggling and just answer whatever questions they ask? And I I don't even know what they're talking about at this point. Bunch of questions from fans, right? So these are things they want to know. Okay. Yeah, After it. season 15 wrapped, yes. there was this call to kind of like reboot the franchise. 
So they say. So they say. Yes. Bring in some new people. How do you guys feel about that? I think new people are needed. I definitely think new people are needed. I don't think we need to do a complete reboot, but I think we need some changes in the cast. I think we need a, a, a cast that has better chemistry and that makes sense. Ooh, ooh, Shay. They need a cast that has better chemistry. So, I mean, at this point, uh, are you saying keep y'all and let everybody else go? I don't understand. You said the boot licking of it all? Exactly. I mean, well, I mean, they've, you know, switched up people before. And every blue moon, you do get somebody that's great, great right? So that's rare. So, I mean, to me, I'm open-minded for whatever happens. So, whatever they choose to do, I'm like, okay, I'm going to be open-minded. Because once you... Every blue moon, they get somebody that's incredible. Like, like who, Candy? <laughs> I wish you was specific. Like, like, like who? Every blue moon, we get somebody that's incredible. Like, who was incredible that y'all got that ain't there no more? Hmm. That came on the show. I'm, I'm just confused. Like, who, what show is she talking about? Found the best. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. I was watching. You know, it was on at six o'clock this morning. Who? Our when we were in Vegas on the uh -huh. bus, uh -huh. and remember, uh, we were at the strip club, and Portia can go in the strip club. And oh, all yeah, the bus when Portia couldn't go in the strip club. You know who was all on that bus? Nene was on that bus, Candy was on that bus, Kenya was on that bus, Portia was on that bus. Who else was on that bus? Was Phaedra on the bus? I, don't, I think Phaedra might have even been on that bus. So, uh, Kenya might be throwing a little bit of shade. Yes. And I was like, this is effing great TV. That was a good season. It was a great effing season. Oh my God. Was, we want that magic. I was going to say, speak. And even Kenya said they she want that back. Look at Candy and them tight lips. You know when Candy get mad, her lips get tight. Oh, you and know, Cynthia, the funny okay. thing is, I hung out with Portia a lot recently, and we never even have a conversation about the show. And I mean, I just think it's better to just like I'm not trying to. Can y'all tell me why she forgave Portia and can't forgive Phaedra? But anyway, let's finish. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it separate because obviously we've gone through our things in the past. And so I just don't want to even bring up the show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like when we just hanging out and it's just cool, we yeah. have a good time. And, but if it's about the show, I just don't want to talk I about the show. <sighs> I'm bored. You bored? I'm so, bored. Yeah, so I just, I, yeah. you know, whatever she decides, it's cool. But, you know, yeah. Because there was all the fans and all they're hanging out on the pumpkin patch. I wonder yeah. if she's trying to get her to come back. No, it was just genuinely. I'm bored. Anyway, we what have mutual saying? friends. Atlanta's so small. we were just. The friend circle is small. Yeah. A lot of the girls call Mingo. A lot of the friends call Mingo. So it's it's uh, one big friend group. Okay, whatever. <laughs> But you're right. You're right, Jezebel. She literally agreed with Kenya. Does that mean, you know, Phaedra can come back? But despite her agreeing with Kenya, she actually did an interview. They they asked her about Phaedra. And she said, why y'all always ask me about Phaedra? Because Phaedra was one of the greats. Phaedra was one of the people that made the show great. I, I don't understand. You said because she know Phaedra is competition. Ooh, Candy needs some more volume in that wig. Y'all need to leave Candy wig alone. Uh, Portia wasn't the one who created the story. Mm. You just implied she didn't. Jezebel, shut up. No, I didn't. I said she was sitting there with her lips tight. That's what I said. I said uh, she was sitting there with her lips tight. Um, Candy's talking to quickly. But anyway, mm -hmm. I'm going to leave Candy where she at. But um, she also addressed the uh, Keith Lee rumors yet again. Yeah, Candy will not let this Keith Lee shit go, honey at all hold on let me see Keely, uh, when she um actually admitted that that candy is doing the most now she defended justin timberlake i don't really even care she getting dragged for that too um she said that keith she allowed keith lee to come in because he's a celebrity and uh, most celebrities when they come, you know, the guests are happy to see them. So it's okay. It doesn't affect, you know, any other guests who are waiting if they let another celebrity come in first. Girl, you just going to run this into the ground, huh? 
anyway, can you answer the question about the feathers and the chicken? Can you answer the questions about the sticky silverware and the tables being sticky? Can you answer the question about the the, the bloody chicken? I mean, I'm just saying, can you answer those questions? Oh, moving on. Kenny needs to be gone. So uh huh. She proved Keith Lee right and did. Okay. Uh, moving on for Candy. Candy Kenya, Don Juan, Carmen, <laughs> and whoever else. Uh, quad, everybody went to see Usher the other day. And uh, Usher decided to serenade Kenya more. Now, Kenya's makeup artist, Kenya's friend, Kenya's everybody, everybody got all these different angles of uh, Kenya being serenaded by Usher. Let's look at one right here. Hold on, let me see this one. Kenya Usher. Okay. Usher rolled up on Kenya. Okay. Let me make it big for y'all. He rolled up on Kenya. He, they was bumping and grinding a little bit. This ain't about 18 seconds. Let me see. Okay. Okay. That's her friend saying she caught the usher book. There they go right there. Okay. Okay, we see you, Kenya. Kenya also posted it on her Instagram where she said that Usher sucked her soul or snatched her soul last night. It's like, girl, how he snatched your soul? He didn't do that, but um, sang in your ear a little bit. But I guess that's soul snatchable. Hold on, let's see what was over here. They're going to be talking about you tomorrow. Say that she put that thing on. Yes, she did. 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 Not what so. Y'all so funny. You break down. I don't know. Woo! But I got a piece of my own right here. Oh, uh, okay. I guess, I guess, I guess, <laughs> I guess, I guess, I guess, uh, shout out to, um, you know, Kenya being serenaded by Usher. I guess she thought it was going to go viral like Kiki, but it didn't. Okay. It didn't. What would have been viral if Usher had serenaded Candy, as you know, Candy and Usher got a little bit of history, but you know, it's in the archives. Don't make me pull it up. Hold on. Hold on, let me put up the the archive. You said she wish it was Mark. Ooh, child. Y'all remember back in the day, Tamika Raymond had got pissed off at uh at Candy for um hold on, hold on, hold on. For saying something about Usher. What was it? It's been so many years. I can't even remember. Um, oh, because Candy said that Usher was uh one of her boy crushes. I don't have a crush on him. I said, I don't have celebrity crushes, but if I had to name one, it would be him. Mm. Tamika got word of the crush and promptly picked up her Blackberry to let the Twitter world know she's not over her ex by throwing shade at Candy, implying that Miss Burris had dated, already dated everyone in town. Oh, that was shade. Hold on. Let me, let me show y'all this when I'm reading. This is old T right here, but I'll let y'all see it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, we love going in the archives. It, it is right here. Y'all remember this? This was in 2010. Tamika Foster Raymond, lover Raymond, gets pissed at Candy's crush. Last night, Candy and her mom appeared on Bravo's Real Housewives of Atlanta after show. Candy made an on-air confession about her celebrity crush, which caused someone to have a hissy fit online. Ooh, Tamika gonna be, get mad at me for reading this, but that's okay. 
Here's the deal. Candy admitted that um, on air that she had a crush on Usher Raymond and that she'd heard he was good in bed. Candy's confession apparently got Usher's ex feeling some kind of way. But look, Candy tweeted me and said, A.T. Elliot, I don't have a crush on him. I said, I don't have celebrity crushes, but if I just had to name somebody, it would be him. It was all in fun. So Tamika caught word of it. And, you know, but she had deleted her tweets. But here is what she had said. Candy just said on Watch What Happens. Somebody tweeted, Candy just said on Watch What Happens Live that she would have sex with Tamika Raymond's ex, Usher, because she heard he's good in bed. But then she said she wouldn't because she knows him and they friends, LOL. And then Tamika said, girl, that doesn't surprise me. There isn't many left in town that she hasn't. <laughs> so go figure. And then Miss Cross said, LOL, you so right, because her ex was also her friend Tiny's ex. So I guess she does get around. And then Tamika said, and so on, and so on, and so on. Lord, when Candy got word that Tamika was throwing shade, she hit her up directly with this. Candy said, Tamika Raymond, you on some bullshit. I see. Wow. And Tamika never responded directly to Candy. And probably never will, but she did manage to contradict herself with this little quote. See, I like real live convos, so anyone that wants to talk to me can dial or come see me. I don't play cyber games. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yes, it's OT, but it's T nonetheless. Okay, it's OT, but it's T nonetheless. I was in a mix. <laughs> but the gag is. The rumor was that you know that this is just a rumor. I'm not, I'm not saying it's true or not, but the rumor was that she had already you know kicked it with Usher. That's why Tamika don't like her. You know, I'm just saying that's what it was. But you know, I didn't like her. I'm not gonna say they don't like her. They probably cool now because you know this was a long time ago. You don't remember this? But child, it's on straight from the a.com. It was written in 2010. You know, straight from the AB having all the tea. You saw me at Louisiana Brewster. I sure was there right after I left the hospital. I was hungry. <laughs> right after I left the hospital, I was hungry. I sure was there today. It was good, too. I'm going to go there all the time. Why you didn't speak? Why you didn't say nothing? Because I was looking a mess. I had my hair pent up and everything. It just came out from anesthesia. But anyway, I'm digressing. Um, You said Candy didn't kick it. Oh, anyway, that's what Tamika said. Who, who Candy didn't kick it with? But Candy is sex positive. She said it. Done one said it. Todd said it. Candy uh, run the numbers up on both sides. So I mean, who what we mad at? Okay. He said Candy wrote pop your collar. Okay, uh JB. I don't know what Candy wrote. She wrote so many songs. She's a very talented songwriter. He said Usher needs to make uh confessions three. Mm, mm, mm. The starving bee <laughs> was stopped. Oh my god. Anyway, y'all, we go y'all trying to divert me off of this conversation of candy. Okay, moving on. Oh, I forgot to tell you that uh Kenya also mentioned in that video that I was playing with her and Candy that she was kind of pissed off about you know Bravo not showing her storylines. Okay, she was saying that you know, yeah, they should be some tweaking. However, there are some things that Bravo didn't show. Bravo didn't show, you know, my brick and mortar building. You know, I'm building my um my my uh hair spa. Hold on, I think it was this video she said it in. And she said that it's coming soon. That's what I was surprised about. Hold on. How are things between you and Mari? What is it? Okay. I think everything can be included um, when you in an episode because you shoot so many scenes and some things they cut. But for me, my main storyline was opening my first brick and mortar business, which is huge. I'm building a beauty empire and the fans love to see it. And I just feel like they should have been included because I worked so hard on it and I wanted it to be full circle. And, then we also and it's beautiful. It is Thank beautiful. You. Yes, it is. Thank you. Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> well, you know, she Candy says she's been there. Yeah, they've they been there because they rent out the building and they had a party. But where is it? And why would Bravo have showed that? And it's not open now. And they stopped filming months ago. I'm just saying, like, I think that the producers were fed up with the fake storylines, the fakery, the stunts and, and, and shows. You know, like, yeah, you invited half of Atlanta to your opening and it's not open, Kenya. 
For sure, and then it allows people to speculate. I saw some yeah. negative, uh, some things, people trying to make up stories yeah. about it, and I was like, no, it actually was beautiful. It was yeah. great, and too bad you didn't get to see it yet. Yeah. It's, it, well, who was making up stories about it? It's not open. You see what I mean by this alliance? They be so they trying to candy trying to support her at like it's open. I've seen it. It's beautiful. Blah blah. blah. Candy, have you got your hair done there yet? Have you went over there and got a facial? Did you get your nails done? Candy, are they providing services? Has she hired any? Stylist Candy, where is this place that you speak of that is not open yet? Hell, Kenya didn't even lock down the Instagram page because it didn't have nothing on it. <laughs> anyway. Opening my grand opening in three weeks. So I built a second level. It's amazing. So I'm now y'all listen. She said this yesterday. She got a grand opening in three weeks. Let me look at my calendar. Three weeks from today is what? One, two, three. That'd be right after Thanksgiving, the 28th. When is Thanksgiving? The 23rd? Mm hmm She said the week after Thanksgiving, she opening. So the 28th, three weeks. Kenya, we watching you, Kenya. You said it was going to be open a long time ago, and it's not. But Kenya just said in the interview that it's going to be open in three weeks. So we're going to look for it. We're going to see. I'll be back. I'm excited. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited. Thank you. Also, maybe talk some more. Congrats on the way. So there's that. I, we can't hit the man because he ain't speaking in the mic, so we don't know what the hell he's saying. But um, can you say it's gonna open in three weeks? So right after Thanksgiving. So I'm just saying, y'all be saying that you know I don't support black businesses, and I be calling Kenya a liar. Well, she's been a liar up until this point because she said it was open and she had a grand opening celebration and it's not open. So I guess she's going to have another, a grand, grand opening celebration. <laughs> Jasper, don't make me block you. Talk about you go, you go, uh-uh, don't make me block you. You said, what if Kenya's salon fails to inspection? Hell, Candy's restaurant fails to inspections every month. She's still open. <laughs> Candy get F's from and D's from the health department. They still open. So I mean, listen, all the thing I do is cut a check. I guess the 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 um they'll let her pass. <laughs> the Neverland, the Neverland hair spa. That's what they need to call it. Uh, the re 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 opening, just like the V V V V V I P. The re 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 opening. When is the divorce taking place? Hell, when did the marriage happen? We never saw the marriage license, so we'll never see the divorce because we never saw the the wedding. I told y'all that a long time ago. Y'all didn't believe me, but you know, as time goes on, can you just go uh, think that y'all just gonna forget that she said she was married to Mark? <laughs> Would you be making an appointment at her salon? No, I go to the J spot, Derek J. I go to the Derek J shop. Uh, a restaurant that serves plastic cutlery ain't about sheesh. Well, you better hope they give you plastic cutlery because the people say that the damn uh, spoons and knives and forks still be having greens and grits on them from the, the person before. So you better hope they give you plastic at the OLD. Anywho, we loving the mess. <laughs> I just be talking. I don't really just be talking, y'all. Don't pay me no attention. This is just fun. This is just fun. This is for entertainment purposes only, okay? I love candy. I love Kenya. I wish them both the best, but I would never eat at the OLG. Y'all ain't going to make me sick. Y'all are not going to make me sick. Mm -mm. Y'all saw them kitchen when she had the OLG um show, Candy and the Gang. Did y'all not see that kitchen? The sticky floors, the, the damn mold. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. If you watch that show, you would never want to go there. Anyway, Kenya's opening her salon in uh, two weeks. Moving on, let's talk about Married to Medicine really quickly. Did y'all watch? Press one if you watched the season premiere of Married to Medicine. I don't even know what season they on. Season 10? Is it season 10? Uh, last night, press one if you watched it. Press five if you did not. I just want to see if y'all was tuned in or not. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Paige, watch this. See, Patterson, watch this. Okay. Well, we here have a little conversation. Okay. We can have a little conversation because I was like a little intrigued. I was. I was a little intrigued. And it wasn't even, 
it wasn't even about Phaedra. Like normally I thought that, you know, I would be watching Married to Medicine because Phaedra was on it. You know, I'm a real Housewives of Atlanta fan. And I thought, you know, since Phaedra was over there and I guess, you know, they're hoping that some of the real Housewives of Atlanta fans will, you know, migrate over there since, you know, Housewives isn't going to be on in a while. But it wasn't Phaedra that I came to see. You know who I came to see? I came to see Sweet Tea and Dr. Gregory. I did. I wanted to know what happened. I really want to see the mess, okay? And th they really gave me the mess that I was looking for, and I'm really appreciative of Sweet Tea and Dr. Gregory for giving me the mess. And now I can't wait for Quad to come and give us even more mess with the Sweet Tea and Dr. Gre Gregory. I hope they paid Quad a pretty penny to come back and be embarrassed or embarrass the Sweet Tea. I don't know. The Sweet Tea is a mess, child. Her, her twin sister, her country accent, her cowboy boots, her cowboy hat, just a mess, okay? Everything about it is a mess. Her moving into Dr. G's house when it used to be Quad in Dr. G's house, a mess. Everything is just a mess, okay? Mm -hmm. But let me go ahead. I'm, I'm going to review it for a minute, okay? So Phaedra was introduced, okay? Phaedra walked in looking like money. You know, she got a brand new body bought by Phaedra, <laughs> Phaedra got a brand new face, brand new body. Hold on. We're going to go to Phaedra's Instagram page for a minute because I was like, I barely recognize. Is that Phaedra? What is Phaedra? <laughs> we don't know who this woman is with this blonde. Look at this. What? Who is this woman? Can, who is that? Is that Phaedra? Phaedra got a new nose, got new lips. I mean, she looked the same, but she don't look the same. It's giving real Barbie-ish, okay? Phaedra looking good, honey. She had her, her, her buns out. She had sheer stuff on. Like, I'm just like, Phaedra, what happened to this good Christian Southern Belle? Oh, you say she's giving Mary the Medicine version of Portia. She's the new Portia. I don't know. She like Phaedra didn't turn light-skinned it. It might be the makeup. She look old. Well, she look, I mean, she looking like KKK Kim. Oh, it is giving a little Ozempic. I don't know. It might be, but I ain't mad at her. Hold on. Let's see some more. This was, this was uh, from the part. Look at this. Who is, is that speaker? Oh. Shout out to Freddie O for taking the pictures from the event. Look at Phaedra, okay? Phaedra, Dr. Heavenly, Dr. Jackie. They was, you know, they participated in one of the first scenes of the um the night as Phaedra <laughs> took them to the opening. Was it the opening of the vault or just a party at the vault? Anyway, the vault has uh furs and all kind of uh top tier designer goods. Uh they saying that she was, you know, she's trying to steal Marlo's idea, but I think the vault's been there before. Um Marlo's uh place. I don't even what's Marlo's place called? Lay Lay something anyway. But um I found it wonderful. No, I'm I'm not gonna say wonderful. I found it interesting that Bravo decided to, you know, air a little bit, a little clip of Phaedra from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So of course, Dr. Heavenly already throwing shade, talking about how Phaedra lies, how Phaedra don't tell the truth, but how Phaedra can read. And she's looking forward to Phaedra, 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 and how Phaedra is real shady. And so Bravo plays the clip of Phaedra reading Kenya for the sperm donor. Now I thought that was really shady because to this day, Everybody still considers Mark her sperm donor. So just to see that and to see how it transitioned, and now it's like, oh, Mary, the medicine producers, y'all are shady. Why did y'all pull that? Y'all could have pulled so many other clips of Phaedra reading so many other people, but you pulled a clip of her reading Kenya about <laughs> uh, her man depositing his sperm, ejaculating for a pizza and a beer or whatever it was. Y'all remember? I'm just like, Lord, I can't play. You know, it's the copyright in me. I cannot. I'm not gonna look it up, but y'all know, y'all know that y'all know it. But anyway, they say Phaedra is dating a cardiologist. All right, that's what Dr. Heavenly said. And um, 
that's not true either <laughs> because Pedro has already came out and said that the man that they said she was dating, she's not dating anymore. So whoever this Dr. O is that was a cardiologist that she got on the show dating or allegedly got on the show dating, she's no longer dating, but she says she's still looking for a doctor. We talked about this the other day. Um, Heavenly was saying, you know, if you need some dating experience, I got you. And here come Phaedra with the reads already. First scene of the show. She tells Heavenly, you've been married to the same man. You only been with one man your whole life. Why would I take dating advice from you? I was like, pew, 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 bang. Loved it. Okay. And then Heavenly couldn't do nothing but shut up. So how Heavenly gonna have Dr. Heavenly University teaching women how to how to uh get men? And she only had one. We need a man. We need somebody like Candy who's had many. Okay. Anywho, I'm digressing. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Um, then we have Simone and Cecil working on a book. Y'all know I have way don't know these people, but I'm gonna pretend like we do. Yes, yeah, Simone, Dr. Simone and her husband Cecil working on a book because in previous seasons they had gotten into it about Cecil, you know, having a, a, a romantic relationship with some friend or something that, that went too far. Like they didn't admit that he slept with her, but they admit that lines had been crossed. So I guess now uh they was trying to write a book about how they came back together and how they made their life better or their marriage better. And I don't know why Omarosa was on the phone. Maybe I missed it. Maybe I was watching my phone or something. But Omarosa was on FaceTime with Cecil and Simone and was telling them that maybe they should rethink writing this book because it may cause new problems in their marriage if they rehash the old issues. And they was like, yeah, you know, that's right. That's that's right. So I guess they decided to put the book on hold. You know, y'all tell me if I'm wrong. I don't know. Like I said, I don't watch this show. But I'm going to watch it because it seemed juicy. Okay. Uh, Toya and Eugene came over to visit Cecil and Simone. And that's what I like about this, this show, too. Because it's reminiscent of, like, the old housewives when all the couples would get together. Y'all remember used to be Apollo and Phaedra and Candy and Todd and Cynthia and Peter and Nene and Greg and all the men were cool and all the girls. And it was just like a big happy family. Like I, I feel like Mary the Medicine got it right in that regard because now they, you know, they got the, the couples coming together and the couples supporting the other couples. I, I thumbs up to that. Okay. But I don't know how Phaedra gonna fit in with that because she ain't got no man. But I guess her and Quad neither one of them but anyway i'm digress um <laughs> toya uh admits that she has confided in simone about her own marital issues but she said they're doing better which is good uh toya also brings up uh, the fact of dr g being remarried so i guess that's the introduction of uh you know dr g having a new uh, uh, planning to get remarried at the time he's married now and uh they were talking about quad you know they was like you know what had, what had happened in the marriage it was really dark and even Cecil said but you know Dr. G is happy and now you can tell he's, he's got a weight lifted off his shoulder he's in a different space we really like sweet tea for him and it was like everything is so positive and pro Dr. G and everything and they was talking about how when he was with you know Quad you know it was just demonic almost I'm like damn okay <laughs> y'all really don't like Quad huh? but I don't know Y'all need to tell me too what's the what's going on between Quad and Toya because they don't like each other too much, do they? Because I don't know, they don't they seem uh yeah, Toya was spilling a lot of tea, but we're gonna get to that. Um heavily in her confessional, and I said it earlier, said something about Phaedra doesn't always tell the truth. And then she said the truth ain't in the bitch. And I'm like, oh, and already she don't tell the truth. How you gonna say she lying already? And I guess they had already peeped the fact that she didn't have no date, didn't one date no doctor. So I don't know. You said Quad told a bunch of lies on Toya. Oh, Dr. G wife and Toya gotta be sisters from another mister. Well, I was watching um Sweet T's live the other day, and she said her and Toya are not related. Okay. Hey, Bell B, how you doing, friend? You said messy, messy. It's all messy. Okay. Now, um, the bulk, a lot of this show is uh based on is is focused on Dr. Dr. G and his new wife. Okay. So Dr. G comes over also. So now it's all the couples, right? It's Dr. G and uh his new wife, 
sweet tea. It's some oat. They came over Simone and Cecil House. They there with Toya and Eugene. So all of the couples, you know, are there and they basically happy. The men are happy in one room. The women are happy in another room. And everybody's saying that Dr. G leveled up. I'm like, oh, leveled up. Oh, they still, they still shading quad. The quad ain't even there yet. Okay. Um, you said Apollo scarred poor Fedra. Mm -mm. Quad said Toya had people break in a Nilla house. I don't know none of people. Toya looked more like Sweet Tea instead of her real twin. Okay, yes, the real twin is fraternal. Anyway, Sweet Tea, Atisha. I don't know why I can't have to keep calling her Sweet Tea, but we're gonna call her Sweet Tea because that's what they call her. And Dr. G talk about how they met, and uh she slid into his DMs. I guess after he was going through it with Quad, he said he used to get so many DMs. Dr. G said he used to get DMs of people in the shower and stuff and showing their cootie cats and all kinds of stuff. And um, you know, and I guess T was one of the many, 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 many women that slid into Dr. G's DMs. Cosboy said, unlike Atlanta, there's a lot of heavy hitters on this show. It's what Atlanta used to be with the Reeves. Oh, okay. Thank you, Cosborn. Um, yeah, so she slid into the DMs. So my thing is, when you start thinking about the dynamics of this relationship, she already looked at Dr. G as somewhat of a celebrity, okay? She was sliding into the DMs because clearly she was a fan of the show because how else would she know Dr. G and he was single, right? Um, she was in Texas and he even said like, you know, she said she hit the DMs and said she would, she would give him some children. I'm like, oh my God, like if that ain't, I ain't going to call the lady no stalker because they married now, but it just seemed a little weird. You know what I mean? She watched him at home and plotted, okay, and, and told him everything he wanted to hear. I'll give you the babies. I'm ready for marriage. I'm this, I'm that. So it is what it is. I, but I wonder why he picked her over everybody else. But anywho, um, but they said, you know, they fell in love. He flew her in and he liked her in her dress and yada, yada, yada. And the rest is history. Uh, she just seems really young. She's in her 30s, I guess mid-30s, late 30s. And she admits that, you know, she's happy that, you know, he he came through and he began to take care of her and pay her bills and all this stuff. And it's like, oh, okay. I mean, she ain't giving gold digger, but it's giving gold digger, right? So anyway, Dr. Dr. G and uh, lovely T, uh, lovely T, Lord, sweet T host a hoedown at their house. <laughs> T admits she is nervous about being around everybody and that means you know dr heavenly and everybody else um and it's funny because they they were showing dr heavenly talking to uh was it jackie and she was saying that um the house looked better with quad in it and that uh quad had an interior designer when she was there which in turn you know i can piggyback up what i told you just the other day when bravo aired uh T and Dr. G's new house and how she had hired an interior decorator, but the interior decorator wasn't as good as what Quiet had hired because to me it was a little plain. It was nice, but it was just a little plain. But um, Quad uh, had an interior decorator in the same house, and I guess, you know, they had to switch stuff around. So now the new mansion that Quad is in, Dr. Heavenly had posted it trying to shade, but it is what it is. Anyway, uh, what else I got in here, child? You see, I'm I'm fading fast because the mess was missing at this hoedown because everybody came dressed with cowboy boots and stuff on. She had a little picture area where she had a little little bull for photo ops, and it is what it is. Dr. Heavenly came, Toya came, everybody came. Uh, they said uh, Letitia was bringing the country to ATL. That's when she introduced everybody to her twin sister, but it's not really her twin sister. It's her fraternal twin sister. Um, oh, somebody asked Toya if she was going to get along with Dr. Heavenly. Like I said, I don't know what Toya's beef is with everybody, but it seems like Toya don't get along with a couple of people, Dr. Heavenly and Quad. And I guess Heavenly and Quad are tight, right? So Toya says she's changed, but she's not sure about Dr. Heavenly. Okay. So everybody comes. Jackie came alone. Dr. Jackie came alone and said that Curtis was in the Dominican Republic. Now, why is Dr. Jackie's husband in the Dominican Republic without her? Do you know what they be doing in the Dominican Republic? Didn't he just get caught cheating a couple of years ago? Why is he in the Dominican Republic? That's what I want to know. But she didn't tell us and we don't know. But if they, whatever happens, happens. Um. Jackie said it felt awkward 
walking into a house that used to be Quad's house. And she said that, you know, I guess they used to call it the Purple Palace. She said the Purple Palace is gone. She said she might got that snap back. Okay. Uh, they used to call Toya broke. Oh, okay. Thank y'all for letting me know. Because I ain't back. I ain't going back. Watch. I am not going to binge watch the show. I promise I'm not. <laughs> um, Phaedra arrives. Okay. Phaedra comes and she shades uh sweet tea's big texas panties because she said everything's bigger in texas including these panties because when uh sweet tea bent over you could see her black panties you know up under the white little short she had on but anyway um but dr g seems very very ecstatic to have all his friends back together and you know cecil and all the men are out smoking cigars and everything and again here cecil is keeps you know reiterating that uh latisha sweet tea is very special and that he likes the change that he sees in Dr. G. Now, Heavenly was messy, okay? When all the ladies were sitting in the room talking and, you know, getting to know one another, Heavenly asked Sweet Tea, what did she like the most about being engaged to Dr. G? And Sweet Tea said she enjoyed having access to the money. Now, that may be true. But I think nobody told her that she should not have said this on TV because it made her it made her look really, really bad. Like, we already know he's a doctor. We already know he had money. We already know that the reason that you like him is because he had money. But please like him for something more than that. You said Dr. G has more money than Sweet Tea. We know, but I'm just saying, but why would she say that's the reason she likes being engaged? Could it not be the way he treats her? He loves her better than any man she's ever met before. He rubs her feet. He makes her feel like a natural woman. It could be anything. Why it had to be the money? You said that was a voiceover. You don't think she said it? Oh, okay. Well, when she said that, everybody got quiet. You know, that if it was production, it was production. And, you know, that's the big thing. Now, another thing, you know, they started talking about Quad, you know. Um, and it was interesting because, you know, Sweet Tea was like, we're not going to make this about Quad. We understand this used to be Quad's house and Quad's friends. I don't have nothing against Quad. But we not, you know, her sister even had to step in and say, you know, y'all need to stop now. But Toya being messy since, you know, they were talking about Quad had to ask Phaedra, Phaedra, if she was covering Quad's DUI case. And I'm like, oh, what, what, what? Because, you know, Phaedra said she had talked to Quad recently and she's like, oh, are you covering her DUI case? And we're like, wait a minute, Quad had a DUI? And then everybody looked at Toya and Toya was like, yes, Quadria Webb. You know, I think she dropped the lunch for it. And it was like, damn, they even pulled up the damn criminal records and everything. We need to know what had happened in the DUI. Now, <clears throat> again, um, what's her name? Sweet Tea was also talking about having kids and everything, but she was saying she was having problems with fibroids, which, you know, most black women do. I told you my battle with fibroids. Fibroids has been like a constant uh, staple in a lot of these reality shows on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Fe Fe not Phaedra. Um, Portia went through her fibroid journey. Cynthia went through her fibroid journey. So it's a lot of women, you know, who goes through that, black women in particular. So she was talking about that and, and she's suffering from that and endometriosis. And so uh, she said that Dr. G had referred him to Dr. Simone because, you know, they're best friends. And Dr. Simone had referred her to a specialist. And Dr. Heavenly got messy and started saying, why didn't you refer her to Dr. Jackie? And then Dr. Simone was like, I refer her to a specialist. And she was like, well, isn't Dr. <laughs> Dr. Jackie a specialist? Aren't you a specialist? That must be something you can't handle. And so it was really messy because it's like, we understand that, you know, Dr. Simone and Dr. Jackie can both do fibroid myomectomies and all of that stuff but maybe there are people that can do some things better so dr heavenly was real real foul for trying to you know put their you know uh uh expertise in question okay now um before they ended have uh fedra you know everybody was getting ready to go because they had been there long enough and fedra was like you know before we go we got, i got i need to say something and then heavenly said Oh, that you didn't sleep with Greg? Because remember, back in the day, they said that Doc, Dr. G and Fedra was dating before he dated Quad. So Fedra said, no, no, no. But I don't know if she was saying no, that she didn't sleep with him. Or no, that's what 
not what she was about to bring up. And that was the cliffhanger for next week. So what did y'all think of the marriage medicine? <laughs> That's all I got. Uh, but I'm interested now in this whole sweet tea story. I seen a clip online of a uh, quad coming to the engagement party. So yes, I'm like really I'm invested right now. I want to see what happens, even though it's already happened. You said maybe she didn't Jackie because she told Buffy business. Oh, this is becoming a sitcom. It's giving green acres. What? Um, Dennis shouldn't try to check OBGYNs. That's what she said in her confessional. She need to stick with the veneers, honey. She need to stick with the veneers. So yeah, it's pretty. It's giving. It's giving. You know what it's supposed to give. I guess we ain't got nothing else to watch. Might as well watch it on um on you know <laughs> on Peacock or whatever. But anyway, let me know what you think. What you thought about this weekend's um this first episode of Married to Medicine and Dr. G being on there with his new bride and knowing that Quad going to be on there by herself and what's going to happen if they're going to bump heads, what is going to happen if they're going to show Dr. G being um controlling because in the upcoming episodes, it looks like Dr. G don't want to have nothing to do with the planning of the wedding. It looks like, you know, you know, he's older than her. So it looks like he's just the person who wants to spend the money and, you know, she can do what she want to do as long as she, you know, is obedient, you know? So it's just interesting. Hold on. Hey, Hello. Bill. <laughs> Hold on. What's up, friend? Let me get my music off. Uh, <laughs> You are talking about my favorite subject of today. <laughs> oh, what? Married to Medicine? Yes. I watched it today, um, both that and uh, Real Housewives of Potomac. But um, I feel like they did not disappoint at all um, with Married to Medicine. And uh, Sour Tea is just <laughs> who I thought she was. Why are you dragging bit. this lady? You like, you, you did it last time. Like, why are you calling her Sour Tea? She ain't did nothing. She just did a lot. What are you saying? What she do? Okay, what you? What, okay, what so you like? I, I I wasn't thinking of this until you know because the women they want to uh, nitpick, so they were like, "Who calls their uh, engagement party a hoe down?" So she's saying the hoe is down, like the hoe is down for the count. I was like, I didn't even think about that. I was really just going with the theme um, of you know she's from the country and all that. But I think it was a subliminal message that a hoe is down. And when I say this, and wait, I think it's a slim subliminal message that they played that read that Phaedra read to Kenya. But go ahead. Wait, which one? Wait, what, what am I missing? What read? In the beginning, when they showed Phaedra, when they said that Phaedra was slicking the tongue, when Jackie said she was slicking, and they showed Phaedra reading Kenya for the uh, sperm donor. Yes, and yes, said yes. that you know when your child get oh whatever whatever your baby somebody about ejaculating uh, for in a pizza cup. yeah all that stuff yes yes yes. Um, like, why did they choose that read over everything else? Because they trying to create, you know, drama. They, they, you know, yeah. they messy. They messy. Yeah. But um, the Sweet Tea um, Quad 2.0 is not, I'm not feeling it. I, I mean, I'm feeling it for the show and for the purposes of the show. But seeing her, for her to say, like, and you just mentioned it, when they, when the Dr. Heavenly was like, well, what do you enjoy about being engaged? No one would say that unless that's how you feel. That you have now have access to a little of the money. And, and again, she said a little of the money because so, our plan is to get a hold to more of the money or a lot of the money during the divorce. Well, she ain't got access to enough of it if he made her move into the same house he lived in with that other lady. No, but but um, uh, Dr. Heavenly said she's not a gold digger. She's a copper digger. So a copper <laughs> digger wouldn't, I mean, for some you of us. You don't know what gold is. Right, you don't know what gold is. So for her level of copper digging, this is good. This is going to be good. If she get her a little $2,000 a month, $1,500. <laughs> but and she, she get, get on the show, you take, know they're going to turn into a whole different person. And she get to, she you get know to how they her. did um, uh, Portia. Everybody keep, you know, comparing her to Portia. And how Portia came on the show, this innocent, newbie you know she was an evangelist she was hosting fundraisers her mm -hmm. husband was a football player mm -hmm. she was wearing her hair pent up very and, christian you know, step, step mother kind of dresses mm -hmm. and everything and then you know they got divorced and then she hoochie mama number whatever so mm -hmm. sour tea is heading down that same path she is definitely mm -hmm. 
and and I would say with with Porsche though, I don't get that that was Porsche's goal from day one to become what we see today. But you know, yeah. she got more exposure, et cetera, et cetera. Sweet tea on the on the journey of the fact that she has oh. watched this play out over years of how this this works and how people come up from this and all of that. The fact that when they revealed the fact that she hit him up in his DMs, I was like. I knew we were going down a dark path at that moment. I was like, oh, Lord, I didn't know this part. Yes. I mean, because my thing is yeah. that that kind of proves she was a fan of the show. Like, she I would have preferred that they met at the gas station or something. You know what I mean? She like, now it's like, it oh, him. you're a fan that reached out to him knowing what his last relationship was and the problems that he had in his last relationship and the fact of he wanted kids and blah, 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 blah. And for her to dive into the DMs and say, I'll give you babies. Yep. As like one of your first mm-hmm. phrases. To, you know, it's like, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Again, sour tea. Yes. So I'm standing on this. Y'all can fight me in the chat. Y'all could harass me on the platform. Everybody whatever. said our chance. I did. And but she I, proved what I thought. <laughs> it's, it's only been one day. She proved nothing. When some what what does uh what did Maya Angelou say? When someone shows you who they are or tells you who they are, believe them the first time. They said it could have been a voiceover. It was not, and whoever said that, um, it was it must have been AI because I saw her lips moving. I saw there was no I I'm an editor, so I pay attention to those sort of things. This wasn't no uh them having the camera on Doctor Heavenly and you hearing those words. They literally showed her saying those particular words. Okay. Okay. I know I'm very passionate about it. I apologize, but she is just who I thought she was. LaShawn is right. She got fertility problems already. How's she going to deliver on her promise? Because God don't like ugly. But y'all go ahead. I don't want to take up too much time. I, I'll, I'll hang back. I, you can put me on back. Whatever you need to do, but I, I'll let somebody else talk. You can stay. Okay, I'll let somebody else talk. Sweet tea. Hi, my name is Miranda from Roswell. <laughs> It's my first time calling in. I would just like to speak <laughs> on the topic of marriage. Okay, what would medicine. you like to talk about, Miranda from Roswell? Um, Vale, I would like to ask you something. Go ahead. Okay, so you don't think that maybe Sweet Tea was just saying that for shock value? I think she's a pretty smart girl. She's a little rough around the edges in a little country, but you know, I don't think she's just gonna get on there and be like, I want him for his money. Uh, I mean, but I'm just saying, because she, if she's a gold digger, she's no more than a gold digger than Quad was as well. Oh, okay. But Quad was smart enough not to actually say it. But I don't think, it. I don't she think it's smart to. to say it. Even if you're saying it as a joke, that's not that's not some that's not th- that was a label she was going to get regardless, or or at least. But then Quad and okay, so Quad is push also pushing this domestic violence thing too. Yes, but didn't they get didn't Quad beat him up before they got married? Yes, the day before or the week prior. Yes, they have mug shots. Wait a minute, let me go into the archives because you know this was one of the reasons that Quad got mad at me. <laughs> Vel, I think you're going a little. You went a little hard on Tisha early. You might end up liking her. Who? Uh, Tisha, T- Sweet Tea. No, who might end up liking her? You. Oh, oh no, I'm pretty decisive. <laughs> it's only one episode. I know. And people and, didn't like Nene the first episode of Housewives season one. I like they, that's a lie. Like Everybody like Nene. Yeah, I like no, Nene. I'm saying the very first couple episodes they didn't, then they ended up loving her. So you never know. I mean, and even when you look at the previews for what they're saying will happen between the two of them, it just is pretty much reiterating how I feel about her. I think she's great for the show. Don't get me wrong. I'm okay with an, uh, a, a sinister character on the show. A and sinister? I feel like, <laughs> I'm just I'm being oh, extra. Oh, gosh. <laughs> So you just think she a chicken head? Oh, absolutely. Yes, that for sure. But she was in the military and she had like a chicken career. heads can join the military. <laughs> but she had like a career and she had her own money. Okay, chicken heads have careers and money. Quad didn't have all that. Okay. Uh, y'all remember this? They both was locked up. For I literally forgot about this. Yeah. Quad spoke candidly about the situation during the first episode. See, I used to cover this back in the day. 
where she stated that she was the aggressor in a domestic altercation between she and her husband, where she threw a bowl at him and he called the police. As standard procedure, both parties in the case such as this are locked up and being that they are still married and willing to air out their business on a reality show, I'm assuming neither press charges on the other. At any rate, here are their mugshots. <laughs> you pulled up there. I will say Dr. G actually looked handsome back then. Not so much during the seasons he was on with Quad, but then again, he's now looking handsome again. I'm just he don't, the, yeah, he looks quite handsome with his beard and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he looks better now. Um, so they're both twins. Sweet T is a twin, and then Dr. G is a twin. But you oh, guys Dr. G that. is a yeah, Dr. G is a identical twin, and yes. she is a fraternal twin. I did not know that. Mm, yeah. Where did he know that? His brother be on his page all the time. Hold on, let me pull it up. But has he ever been on the show? Because I never knew that. I think briefly, like in the background, once. Oh, okay. Did they show him. Uh, I can't remember. I just know I've seen him on his page. But I saw him at Stony River one time a few years ago, and I thought it was Dr. G, but it was. Oh, maybe that's what it is too. Dr. G lost weight as well. So if Dr. She G lost, lost weight, uh, Eugene lost weight. A lot of people, mm -hmm. a lot of the men lost weight. What they over there doing? She said she had fertility issues. Yeah, she said she had endometriosis and um and fibroids. Oh. His brother in here somewhere. No. Right there. Oh, is that them? I think so. That ain't them. Is that them? Oh wow. Wait. I yeah, that's them so. twins. That's him that's and his crazy. brother and her and her sister. Oh, look at Phaedra talking about double fun. Mm -hmm. But they so used to look more alike when, when he didn't have a beard. But yeah, mm -hmm. they're identical. See. If they have babies, will they have twins or is it yeah, right here, generation? Look. If they do what now? If they have babies, like will they have twins or will it skip a generation? How does that work? I don't know. Oh, they probably will. Why y'all don't want this man to be happy with sweet tea? Look at them. No, I Who do don't want him to be happy. Yeah, I want him yeah. to be happy, but I also like people to live in reality and be realistic. The lady's telling you who she is. I mean, she's literally who clearly she? saying who she is. I don't know why everybody want to ignore the fact that she said uh, the reason I like him is because of the little money he gave me. <laughs> he, got, he, got a little, he got a little handsome when he started growing that beard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. He's cute right there. Well, all I know is him and that girl together, and they got married real quick. How long were they together? Because I, I haven't tracked their story at all. They started dating in like 2022. Mm -hmm. Oh, when did he and Quad divorce? 2022, 2021. Mm -hmm. This sounds like Ruben stuttered all over again. Oh, my remember God. the Ruben stuttered what does story? That, mean? What yeah. it's, it's that girl, that fan who married him. Because uh, she mm -hmm. thought he she was gonna have this luxurious life, found out he was boring and didn't like to spend money, and mm -hmm. then oh uh, yeah, because she was a stripper or something. Mm -hmm. wasn't she, I, I, I vaguely remember that story. Yeah, this this same thing, same thing. No, it's not. She told y'all she hit him up with the DMs and told him she could do what Quad couldn't do. Okay, but That's Vail, it. she wants she wants to try to have a baby. Quad lied and tricked Doctor G and was like, "We have a baby, we have a baby," and he was like, "Well, where my baby at?" And she didn't want to have no baby. But this woman seems like she might really want to try to have a. Baby. She does want. I guarantee you, it doesn't seem like she definitely wants a child because that's gonna secure the bag for eighteen plus years. But how you know? How do you know Doctor G cares? Like he seems like he's he desperate. He may, not. he may want a child that bad that he's willing to sacrifice happiness. Everybody needs love. I agree. I don't disagree. I want this man to have love. I would prefer that he has love from a woman who loves him for him and not status and money and, and, and get in the bag. So she hmm. can go back to her 400 hick town um, populated um, town with no stoplights and be living rich. <laughs> Lord. That $1,500 a month gonna get her far. That's what I'm saying. She's a copper digger. She ain't really, you know, Dr. Heavenly was right. She don't really need to go. She's going to go back to that so What did you think about Dr. Heavenly shading um, Dr. Simone for not referring her to, to uh, Dr. Jackie for her? 
as an know, expert. Dr. Heavenly is a pot stirrer. That's her job on the show. Nothing she does really. I don't think me. that's right. Like some things shouldn't be said. Like, like I, it's like she was questioning their professionalism. Like, you know what I'm saying? And their credibility. Like, what you couldn't do it? Oh, I see. You can't do those type of surgeries. And Simone was getting loud because she was like, "I do those type of surgeries, right. but like I said, I refer her to us." Like, you know, it was like, "Why are you pushing the issue to try to make it seem like you know that she wasn't capable of handling?" I didn't like that. No, I didn't like it. I just I'm not surprised by anything. And she that... even she even did the same thing. Oh, you don't think that you don't think Dr. Jackie is capable of handling it either because you didn't refer. It's like she I didn't say that. I said I referred it to a specialist. Dr. Dr. Uh, Jackie isn't a specialist. Like, what is the problem? <laughs> That's why she was like, you need to, you know, focus on them veneers. <laughs> Stick the thing veneers. that I find exactly. most strange is that Dr. Heavenly and Dr. Jackie are so close now, and Dr. Jackie and Dr. Simone are not as close. That's the odd. It's the oddest parent because I'm like, how you? How you I thought close? Dr. Jackie and Simone are back close because when they were on this Bravo thing that I saw, because I was looking at some of the Bravo con clips, they were saying how they've made amends and they'll never get back to that place again. They've known each other for 20 years. They love each other like sister. Blah 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 blah. So they act like they're back friends again. I don't think it's the same. And because I do follow Dr. Heavenly and like when she goes live and stuff, you'll see like she was in Paris with Dr. Jackie and all these things like they, they seem closer than Dr. Jackie and Dr. Simone. They, at least it appears that way. Mm -hmm. um, and Dr. Heavenly, I mean, that she's messy, but she does it to keep people from looking at her like <laughs> what the mess she got going on in her life. But yeah. um, it was wrong for sure. And I feel like it was unnecessary and all of that. But also, I'm not surprised because that's what Dr. Heavenly does. And we'll continue to do the rest of this season. There'll be more. Okay. So, Michelle, we know you don't watch the show because that statement you just made, like, yeah. What statement? Well, what Heavenly said was unnecessary, but they've always questioned each other's professionalism. Like, they used to come at Heavenly. Like, they, they, they've always done that. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they've always belittled her because she's only, I mean, I'm saying from the way they come at it, she's dentist. only a dentist. dentist right. yeah. Like, she's not oh, a real yeah. doctor. Remember, that's what, yeah. yeah, that's what Jackie said verbatim, like, when they first, when she was first on the show, like, she a real doctor? So that's what they do. Yeah. Michelle. Oh, I went to, I went to an individual radiologist, too. I went, I did that, too. Mm -hmm. It didn't work for me, though. Anyway. Uh, what y'all think about the other topics? Uh, Kenya saying she gonna open her salon in in three weeks. I came in late, so I missed all of it. But right when you got into married with medicines, when I joined, which was the oh, topic that. that I was like, yes. <laughs> That's so okay. so well, sweet Pete, do you have anything else you'd like to add? Um, I think that Kenya is full of it. Um, you know, I've been rooting for her. I haven't been Team Kenya ever. But I have I've, I'm team Kenya now, I think a little bit, but I think she's full of it. And she should have had that salon ready when filming um, started. If you don't got the coins, just say that. Oh, if you don't have the optimization in the team, just well, she does that. have a child she has to take care of now. A candy got kids. Nene had kids. Had candy Kim, got to live in babysitter. OK. Kenya got a babysitter too. Kenya had that white girl babysitter in Brooklyn. Kenya has to pay her babysitter. <sighs> Michelle, are you trying to say Candy like... don't pay her babysitter? Yeah, what are you trying to say? You think Candy pay Todd? You oh, I thought you meant like Todd. a nanny, not her husband. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. <laughs> Why you gotta don't pay Todd? Todd? She Todd. <laughs> Todd is a black man being a daddy to his kids. <laughs> oh God! What do you think about Candy uh, Shade me in her interview? Wait, what she do? I missed all school. this. What I miss? What she do? Real quick. She wasn't talking she about said, you. She just says people be making up stuff about her uh, her getting divorced or something. <laughs> Meanwhile, fa about, fast yeah. forward uh, eight to twelve months from now, it'll be made official that there is. I know. I'm like who. <laughs> Who making stuff up? We just be going by what you what had happened. All right. <laughs> Avail, you what a candy hater? Hey, hold on, please? I'm trying to find the video again. I am not a candy hater. I'm a candy realist. No, you what didn't mean? say. Here, here's the clip. Shout out to uh, 
my friend did. You doing? You're doing great. Uh, he's in here somewhere. I saw somebody trying to start a room and we broke up, and that is so far from the truth. Anyway. Wait, the I like what she said. He in here somewhere. Time. Time. Yes. Yeah. We're doing good. You're doing good. Better than ever. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, we just got a lot of great things happening. Oh. Some I can talk about, some I can't. But yeah, yeah like hard when rumors like that come up, or do you kind of laugh them off? No, I just I mean, it's not hard. I mean, we're used to it. I just laugh it off because sometimes it's outrageous. Because I'd be like, now somebody just hate me and just sit there and make up stuff. Right. But Oh, girl, I feel like the strain <laughs> of uh, reality TV has put any pressure on your marriage because, like, obviously, we just saw Kyle and Mauricio split and things like that. Do you feel like that's ever happened to you and Todd? Well, see, I always say that our relationship is a little different it's because most of the people that are married on the show, they came onto the show married. So with Todd and I, you know, he was our he was a producer. You know what I mean? So he knows. How we know how world. you got together, and then we got married. As we were on the show, so he, we can't, I think we just kind of know how it goes, and yeah. we don't take it to heart. Yeah. You know, some of the negativity and drama online. What but they start the ending? negativity and drama, yeah. though. But what don't is she they? About, she takes everything to heart. What is she talking about? <laughs> That's why. Don't they start the negativity and the drama? No. Didn't Todd' entire YouTube channel is negativity and drama? Me Candy too. won't put my name on the deed. Candy's body count. Oh my god! But okay, sweet tea. How do you feel about the fact that Todd put out there the fact that they were having major issues in their relationship and he was feeling caged by Candy? I mean, he put that video out. Yeah. So videos, more plural. His, well, videos, his, but yeah. All of his content is very questionable, and I've already said this like quite a few times. Like, and I know Bill, you okay, don't know, so but I've already agree. said that. But I'm saying when you perpetuate it, Michelle, you can't be like, uh, you can't, you can't shame Candy for defending herself, defending I'm her. I'm not marriage. shaming her. I'm just saying nobody lied on her. You know how I am when somebody called me a liar. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just saying, you know Todd, saying? Todd. Like she can't get mad at people for, for taking what Todd said and running with it. Like, that's the other half of the union. It's 50 50 in this relationship, right? So, if her husband is saying these things, how can we not say something ain't right? So, Candy she's saying have... one thing, Todd saying another. But she has a right to defend herself just like everybody else. Okay. You're right. I'm just saying. Well, she need to be defending herself against what Todd said. But she not had the one that said it. Todd said. So why y'all not attacking Todd? Attacking Todd? Why y'all attacking Candy? We ain't attacking either one of them. I was like, what I'm just telling about? you what the blog, what he said. What you mean the blog? Who? Uh, excuse me, the who? The who? Because that <laughs> would be blog you, goddess. Ma'am. I'm just telling no, you what the blog you, goddess ma'am. said. That would now you telling on yourself. That would be you. What well, other other blogs picked it up after. <laughs> after <laughs> Michelle went on her crusade. <laughs> Michelle has, you know what? Like, Crusade, why yes. are you saying that it's me when Todd said it? You just took the blame. You just said, she talking about me. She talking about me. You know what? I'm just going to leave it at that, Jezebel. I know that Candy's paying you in, in feathered fi- fried chicken. <laughs> you act like you ain't never seen a feather on your chicken wing before and plucked it what? off and still ate it. You from the South. Not in, you rela- not, not in a restaurant. Mm-mm. But you sit in uh what's that? I restaurant? pay handsomely for them to pluck my chicken. <laughs> Vail, I'm paying you, know? you good money. My chicken should be plucked already. Okay, very much so. Vale, what do you mean by you're a candy realist? Oh, I'm very realistic about who Candy Burris is. That was so politically correct. Like, okay, what does that mean? Not just Ooh. what the um, perception or the facade is, but who she is as a whole. Meaning taking what we see, what she said, history, et cetera, and coming to the conclusion of the reality of who she is. Mm. No wonder Michelle like you so much. What are we saying? I, like I don't understand what's the issue. That's been such a... You drinking, you drinking the Kool-Aid? What's the no, Kool-Aid? I'm a, part, I'm a part of Candy's VIP text community. I don't know what you're talking Ooh. about. Oh, so you one of them kind of haters. 
You gotta keep <laughs> Why up. gotta be a hater? You gotta keep up with them. You gotta keep up. Did oh, okay, I see. No, that's okay. showing you how much I've been invested into Candy and her success. And I'm like you, sweet tea. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. You're in I'm the candy. The I'm just I'm not a blind follower of anyone on the on the web, mm. the interwebs. Okay. I don't do flying monkey behavior with anyone. I'm all, I'm always a realist. Okay, I have a question for you. This is gonna this is gonna decide for me. So <laughs> why, why am I being tested? <laughs> because you may or may not be in the candy coated clique. Where I gotta see. Oh, I am not. I am never anyone's part of anyone's. Oh God. God. Oh or God. Anything else. I am an individual. Oh my God! No. Now I can it. admire a person, respect their craft. Look at you! Oh my God! Oh how oh, how could you my. not be a flying monkey for all of these fake internet people? Because oh <laughs> I don't do those sort of shenanigans. I'm with Bell on that one. Now I'll enjoy I enjoy someone if they can partially sing and you know maybe dance every other three four beats, um, and they sing. you know have written some jingles that I enjoy. I can enjoy all of those things, but it doesn't mean I'm going to blindly follow them and feel like they can't be wrong and feel like they never lie to us and feel like they never wrong people in life. And every movie they make is so amazing and they're floating in the clouds and on a path. I don't do all that. Mm -mm. But I can respect those things that I uh, enjoy about you. You sound just like Michelle. But I'm yet an individual still. (laughs) We may have some uh, like-minded ideals, but you I am not. Real. Yeah, you, I think you keep you? trying to put me in 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 clicks and categories. Don't do that. Why I don't, are you I'm interrogating? I'm, never peri- I'm not interrogating. Him. I'm just trying. Okay. No, I got this, Michelle. I got this. He's oh, not okay. in the candy coated clique. That's fine. No, I but, am not. Okay, Val. You see how you minimized all of Candy's accomplishments, and then you did. Where did I minimize? Life. I never once said you Candy's said, name. You said I will accept people who are who can partially sing and write little jingles oh you're saying she could partially sing because i no, never you said, said that. that no i oh, said you want to talk about candy you want to talk about her oh, okay there are many people who could partially sing you said candy okay okay i never once said candy okay what you think about her food what about it she, she <laughs> i ain't never had her food <laughs> i ain't never <laughs> had candy's food Oh, you've never had it? You've never been to the OLG game? No, I've been to OLG. I've never had candy's food. What do you think when about When I was there, the... candy was not in the kitchen cooking. What do you think about the food? She was out there outside, outside taking pictures with people, but candy wasn't in the kitchen. Oh, I never had her food. You know what? You should have been a lawyer. Okay. The what food, are you saying? I'm the confused. food at her restaurant that she serves that you would have paid for, what do you think about that food? Oh, it's it's edible. What does that mean? I I was able to chew on it and and digest it. Was it good? Depending on have you ever been asking, huh? Jasmine, have you ever been to Candy's OLG game? I really wish you would stop asking me that. As, Jasmine, you, sweet tea, oh, answer sorry, the sweet question. Tea, sweet tea, have you ever been? This is not. Uh, I'm asking. Are you telling me a kid no, fan let me, club wait, let me cut president has never been to OLG, you know, but is in, in just don't want to say how bad life. it was. I have gone to an event, and she kind of like was like sponsoring it, and and I had it that way. But it, you know, I don't really eat a lot. <laughs> so she, you went to an event so, where Candy catered somebody else's chicken with feathers on it. Is what you? This saying. was a while ago. You know, I'm not a big soul food fan anyway. It's just not my <laughs> mom's food, so I just don't eat everybody collard greens and chicken like that anyway. And I so really you, you did did you taste the food that was catered by Candy at this event you went to? I did. Was it good to you? It was edible. <laughs> she ain't gonna say nothing bad. Well. Case closed. <laughs> They're telling me to hang up on you. Definitely. And I have been to OLG, just so we can, for those who may not understand, uh, I have been uh, to OLG three times or so. so Different like occasions. Over so you like it. Year. Hmm? So that means you like it. No, that does not mean that. That means that it I've gone with people who wanted to go, and I tend to, you know, go with the majority. 
But if you ain't like it, you would be like, oh, hell no, let's go somewhere no, else. No, I'm not that kind of friend. No, if my friends oh. have never been, I'm with a friend and a couple of them haven't been, they want to try it. And I'm like, well, what's up, par? But if you're okay with that, we can go. And they're like, okay, I just want to try it. I want the experience. I'm like, okay, well, we'll go here. And make sure we wipe the tables once we sit down. But, you know, yeah. Okay. And on that note, what y'all think about Tasha K fighting in the, in the streets? Ooh, that was wild. And that's that the second sweet. fight of the week, right? Yeah. Well, she cl- well, see, we never saw video of the first one. She right. claimed that men and wigs attacked her while she was uh, hosting a uh, reunion, a reunion show. show? So does that mean we're waiting for the reunion show for that footage to come out? Is that what's happening with that? I guess. Yeah, I think that was like promo. But what show is it though? Because I don't even know. I never heard what I don't, show. It's some streaming network some with a whole bunch of trans pe- people on it and they fighting like like the Zeus Network or something, but it's not the Zeus Network. It was some other one. So, so oh, did no, you I mean, just because I joined later? Did you play the actual video of uh, Tasha K? Yes, this I was gonna play it again I right now. It. I saw okay. it. I just was um, wondering if you actually played it for everybody. Oh, uh, Jasmine, what did you think about the fight? I think Tasha K is an attention sinking. A uh, seek. Uh, sorry, attention sinking. Oh, but what? Shit starter. I'm sorry, I'm getting so tongue tied because Vale really hurt my feelings. What? what? How? Sweet tea? Because you don't, <laughs> just don't like candy like that. I never oh. once said I did not like candy. Why are you putting words in my mouth? I literally never said I do not like candy. Never. I told you I'm part of her text community. I told you I in- enjoyed, um, you know, her craft. I admire the her. Real girl doesn't acumen. like it. So all I've said is things that um are neutral really about candy. Now I talked about that the, the actual restaurant, but that's not really candy. <laughs> One of her establishments. <laughs> so I never once said I don't like candy. <laughs> what I said with this though, is this another lawsuit, y'all? Did you did you talk about that part, Michelle? I did, but they say he attacked her first. He did he physically attack her or verbally? Because I wasn't clear on what they were saying when they said. I he don't know. But then we had we found a, a a troll video saying that he grabbed her ass, said she had a fat ass. Interesting. But oh. that was just a troll video. I don't think that 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 was that same man. Whoever this person said that the person disrespected her after she said a man disrespected her. But what's the disrespect? I don't know. And she got him with that heel like twice, didn't she? And, and she in a dress. Like, why her? Why the men ain't fight? I don't know. Some man holding them down, though. See how she got his head with that net? But how many videos, how many cameras is it to catch that? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I needed the, the unedited clip. This wow, clip edited, You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's true. You're right. We're getting all these different camera we angles. three or four different cam- Ooh, camera how angles. how set up is this then? I mean, he was really bleeding, but. Was he bleeding? It looked like when they get that last shot of him standing up. Look how she. I don't know, y'all. This look kind of. Uh, now it look a little stage. Now that you mentioned all these camera angles, I wouldn't even pay no attention to that. Yeah. Yeah, you see, it's somebody down there with a camera. It's somebody clearly. Like, okay. how they get all the, all the footage together and clip it up? Right. That's very odd. And then that's release a combination it. of what cell phone footage and uh, surveillance cameras and everything. Uh huh. Huh. And no, this was not in Atlanta. Somebody said just another light night in Atlanta. This was not in. Atlanta. It literally says in the on the uh, watermark, in Miami. Miami. <laughs> right. Somebody hating on ATL. They always hate. <laughs> hey Marie, how you doing? <coughs> hey Michelle. Hey. What's going on? Okay, I have a question. Okay. It's my first time culturalized or. Got it. Welcome. I would like to know why you have so much hate as a black woman for a person so hard for Candy Burris. You think I hate Candy? Yes, I think so. I support Candy and everything. I support her business. No, no. Let's I not spend money with her businesses. No, I have purchased a lot of so Candy merchandise. That, um, you used to be I around these candy. people. 
DVD up here. You I used to, to be a listen, you you gonna let me talk? No, go ahead. You used to be around these people. The beginning. You used to be with Nanny Dini Leaks and all of them, right? Been through to you still- every everything. Mm-hmm. But it's so funny that you always bring her down. I never hear one good thing you say about her. You don't listen to me often. I, I probably don't, but the night, <laughs> it's crazy. Well, how do you say never if you don't listen to I me? Have never seen couple your lives. I have seen a couple of your lives. You, you tear these women down. The same Tearing thing that them down? Whitney, Wendy, William used to do. To tear the oh, what happened to her? Am I tearing people down? You do, you do, you do, you do, you do. You, do. you don't have the same explain, smoke. Explain. No, no, I, I, I want to give you the same smoke for the Explain leaks. how I have torn you someone. You do down. not. You do not. Don't do that. What? I'm asking you. How do I tear someone down? Because you, you all you talk about. I think you get like when you talk about candy, you you want to get the clicks and views a lot. From her. When I talk about anybody, I won't click it. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Right. That's why I but go I'm live saying, but click the Sometimes views. candy is your biggest topic. Candy is my biggest topic. Yes, when it comes to the housewife, it's always it's always you with her. What? Yes. I it's sad though. For like, that's why. We never get up there as a woman, as black women in these in this space. So you and think about some that I should not Don't talk about up. candy? Wait, 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 wait! You think that I should eliminate candy from my? It's, it's no, you, no, you, you shouldn't. You should woman. not. But I'm saying, as a black woman that you are, a businesswoman that you are, it's so it, it's so crazy how you just. But this, you talk about this lady, and this lady have children that one day that can't come go back and watch your live. That you talk bad, so bad about her. She has a twenty-one year old. Wait, 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 wait. So she's on a reality show, and so I should. You're right. She is, her. but I'm saying you, wait, talk, wait, you, I'm you no call way. this lady as like I'll she's a prostitute. Well, you she's I'm a just whole life. To you never had. You I mean, never slept with me. You never slept with dudes in your life. Never, I'm a virgin. I mean, you never had multiple partners. No, I'm a virgin. Let's be clear. How many I'm partners virgin. you probably had? None. You're virgin. Oh well, that's good. I wonder why. Because nobody wants me. Oh, as pretty as you are, they say. They say. I don't know. As Do they pretty as pretty? your 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 your. Your viewers or your people that comes on the on this platform say, "Oh my God, Michelle, you're so pretty. Michelle, your haircut is so pretty. Michelle, you this. Michelle, you that." They kiss that your ass more than they tell you the truth. Everybody who calls me pretty, they kiss your ass more than they tell you the truth. Okay, so should I be having sex with them? I'm, I'm confused. No, but I'm saying you never had a boyfriend. You never been a teenager. You never, never had. had you never had more than one boyfriend. No, never. Okay, so you're a virgin. What what does that have to do with me having a job talking about celebrity guys? You're right. I mean, listen, everybody has a job. Everybody got to talk about people. What does the boyfriend have to do with it? I'm just trying to ask you your question. It's not only you. It's not only you. Other, other, other. um, It's not only you. It's sad, though. And you got this dude here look like a clown and doing the same thing that you're doing. This is why these black men don't respect us. What they don't respect us because we talk about that's why these gossip. black men see that we put each other down. See, we talk about each other all the time. This is what can I have my turn? <laughs> Go ahead, Bill. I mean, I'm, I wonder I'm, what, what what are we doing here? Like what <laughs> she's coming hot. Uh, sweet tea. Uh, we got a candy clone click member, I think. So, you got anything to add? Um, yes, acting Marie, you have not gone through our sensitivity training yet, <laughs> but 
No, we can get there. Not, oh my god, because you tell oh, the tr- internet. Oh, what's wrong, Marie? It's sad though. Like, no, nah, come on, let's lift up our black women, bro. Because no, not not too many people do that. Let's lift them up. How do you how do you want me to lift up candy? No, not just candy, sweetheart. I'm just lift, lifting, lift. lift. Oh, oh, I don't lift us. up black women because you have a big platform. You have a big platform. You've been around the housewives. Anything. Some of your son. Uh oh. Never been to these people houses, to Nene leagues, to to being around none of them, none of them. Everybody has an opinion. You're right. But I'm, I, so I mean, what is literally so what about going to their house? What happened? But I'm saying nobody never been in that space with them. So you should know them more than us as a viewer. Okay, but so I'm actually you, telling, y'all, telling y'all the truth. Why are you mad at me for telling you what I know? Right. That's what I'm like. Have you considered that because she has been in these rooms, just what you're saying is the fact that she may be speaking on her own experiences, which is opposite of what you're seeing from the other side of the camera. Oh, c- girl. You didn't need any payroll? Are you on okay <laughs> payroll? You don't want to no, call I'm not, no, I'm not, I, I, no, I'm not on nobody payroll. None. Neither am I. <laughs> no, clearly. All the like majority of your of your list of uh, majority of the people that come to your platform, they either kiss your ass or don't take it's just that well, that young lady, sweet tea. I always, you know, she say a few things nice. And you zoo, man. You went, you 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 made it your t- our best to go Google feathers and stuff like girl. We we black. We, we black. Candy pop, candy pop we black, girl. Oh. We black. You go to Popeyes, you fucking find feather and they got them chicken. You go to all these things. Y'all always tearing up black people a restaurant. What about these white people? What about them? First of what all, uh, Marie, I talk about. Uh, a black no, restaurant. Sure, that, I like you as a person. I like your I like the stuff. But community. I'm saying, like, why wouldn't I talk about this sometime. Sometime. Like, you know, girl, you you must have fighting a demon or something. Like, let's 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 uplift us. you. You're the demon I'm fighting. <laughs> no, baby, no, no baby, uh-uh. no baby. I'm not a demon, baby. <laughs> Believe me, I mean, I you came in here fine. But I'm saying, but I'm just trying to figure out what you're so mad at. Like, why are you, you so always, mad? You why are you yelling? Calm you always down. So, uh, like, girl. But why are you, you watching, got, you got though? This man. Why you hate watching and, then? You're, you're kind I'm of. I'm hating. Playing. I'm just talking. Why, why no, you I hate watching because you're saying you hate everything she's doing, but yet you're saying you're a watcher. I'm confused. No, but I'm saying, like, there's like millions of people. I'm a hater because I'm watching. And I said you hate watching, which means when you don't like something, but you still continue to no, watch. No, no, I'm. I just caught a live today. I just so oh, so you never watched today, before, and I just heard she tear this lady down. You've never watched before. How it's, hey, it's crazy. Because exactly you just said she like, always. So how is she always in something? I'm not a troll, baby. Do? I'm not a troll. I'm far from being a troll. I never. I never call in nobody platform. No, you're just sad. You're just sad. All right. Well, anyway, I, 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 God I bless you. you. Since I'm a hater, pray about it. God will guide you. I'm just like, oh, baby, I'm a child of God. No weapon from against me, baby. Right, don't say it. Pray about it. God will give you some direction on how to handle this. Sir, I hope everything goes well. And um, Michelle, I hope everything goes well for you in life. Okay. Have a nice you day. Since I'm a too. hater, since I'm a oh, I'm a uh, I'm, I never I'm told you a hater. hater. I'm hate a watcher. Watcher. There's a difference, yeah. sweetheart. There's a difference between hater and hate watcher. Why are you so angry? Marie? This the same thing you know. say you and Candy, Candy, uh, um, text me, text a group, right? What you know? You act like you grew. You act like you grew. You grew up. You grew up with Candy. You grew up with her. Did you grow up with Kenya? Did you go up with uh uh with um uh, Fa- Phaedra? Yo, wait. Is she talking to the people in the background of you? <laughs> That's her echo. Oh. I mean, girl. <laughs> she talking to herself right now. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm not talking. You can hear me, baby. You can hear me. But in, anyway, the echo. We hear the echo. Okay. Thank you, Marie. I appreciate okay, you. Okay. Good, good night. Good night. Good night. I'll back more often. I like you.
<laughs> Sweet tea. That was your opportunity to tag team. I'm kind of um, disappointed. You see you she, didn't, uh, she didn't. Uh, she didn't. She didn't vote in. I, I only, <laughs> tag you in. I attack Michelle solo dolo. I don't. I don't tag team. <laughs> Oh, we got CC and 2B Black Native. What's up, y'all? Hey, I wanted to say hi to Bill. Oh, Lord. Hey, uh, 2B Black Native. I love your show. Oh, thank you so much, friend. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> Are you calling to tell Michelle about herself, too? Um, I'm kind of, um, no, cause I'm kind of mad at Michelle. I don't want to talk to her right now. What did she do? Oh. Michelle, did you remove her? Yeah, what she happened? mad at me. Oh, uh, hey, what hey she 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 what the? What you want to hear no more people panel? mad at me? Huh? I just want to know why she's mad at you. Maybe we could have fixed it. I'm tired of people who don't like me calling me being mad at me. Just don't call me mad, okay? That's one. That was one mad too many, okay? Now let one mad go on and on. That was the limit for the evening. Sorry, y'all. That echo is crazy. Now let one mad go on and on. Dallas, you echoing, friend? I'm gonna mute you. Close your other devices. I just want to say. Hey, Cece. Is that Sierra what's content? What's up? Yeah, Sierra hey. content. Hey, what's up, what's y'all? Up? Hey, panel. Jay, hey, Bell. Oh, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I just want to say that right there is a, just a display of the ghetto-ness that Candy brings. She brings the hood out. <laughs> like, I just feel like, was she about to punch you through the monitor? I was scared for your life. I was to figure out how I bring black women down. I'm like, can you answer the question? <laughs> I'm say, open to the conversation. I'm open to criticism, but I need something specific to go on. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, when you yeah. argue and you don't make sense and you're just mad, that is what happens. And I think that's the bulk of the candy fanhood. No shade, Jazzy Bell, but that Excuse is the energy me. that I wish you would bring because you're kind of sleepy. But um, <laughs> no, I'm not an <laughs> angry I person, so I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> First of all, Vale and Michelle were gaslighting that woman, but that's neither here nor there. Okay. Wait a minute. She was gaslighting herself. Right. <laughs> no, because y'all know what she was talking about. Y'all know this what Michelle be doing. Come always on. hating black women, tearing black people, black women down. Is that what Michelle is always doing? Because I'm sorry. That was uh, my gaslighting. I'm purely lost on that one. No. Right. No. That's what no. the lady was saying. Michelle well, is using her platform to tear black. I ain't got down. no boyfriend and I ain't never right. had sex. And, well, I ain't no, I don't know. Gas like no, no, like I don't know. She looks great. Uh, we always agree with Michelle. Michelle. I don't always agree with Michelle. Uh-uh, I don't I either. Like, I don't know nothing about all that. I ain't talking. But that's about what it. she said. And you said we gaslighting her. Sound like she gaslighting us. Specifically about the candy <laughs> part. What did that's she exactly. say about it's called dialogue. That's why I needed some some to go on. Like if I if you if you accuse me of something, at least let me know what you're accusing me of, so that I know what the proper response will be. <laughs> okay. exactly. Jack, all I've seen like, you've done it? is back up your statements that you made about Candy. You backed it up and said, "Well, she's this type of person because she did this." So it's not like you just hate on black women. You just have the facts, and people in the entertainment industry lie. So what? That's my dissertation. <laughs> can you be lying? Oh. Can you be lying? And they don't belong on the show anymore. I'm sorry. It, it, it just has to be said. It has to be said. They can go. Facts. <laughs> hey Dallas, honey. How you doing? Hey Michelle. Can you hear I me? like your picture. Appreciate it. It looks so I just, inviting. I, I was in Mexico. Look, I I just called I to tell it. you. That I don't agree with nothing you say. You look horrible. Click. And <laughs> you need to stop turning down black people. You the third, you the third bad <laughs> person. I'm not, I'm not here for it tonight. No, what the <laughs> Yo, I was about to go to bed until I heard that. That was too funny. That, that just woke me up. But yeah, don't let them people um don't let them people get mess up your night. You just had surgery, you're supposed to be relaxing. Don't let that um hey, it wasn't surgery. Probe. Oh my gosh, she ain't had oh, no surgery. Just, 
Oh, I thought you just had your your stuff checked. Well, I had a colonoscopy. That's not. Oh, well, you just had your checkup. Um, you said you had this. It was a good little sleep, though. Well, that technically is. I mean, this sleep. Oh, I was slobbing. It was good little sleep. (laughs) Then I went out to eat afterwards. I was so hungry. Somebody in the chat said they saw me, Jasmine. I'm like, oh. Oh, yeah, they that? could have bought you something to eat. They saw you at the restaurant. They offered it back your yeah, meal. Yeah, they said what restaurant I was at, everything. I found mm-hmm. this a good old restaurant, Bill. You know why they oh, ain't bad for you, right? Huh? You know why they didn't bad for you? Because they no, don't agree no. with nothing you say and you turn <laughs> on black woman and whatever else that she said. Like I New York in the chat. <laughs> But I'm just that's I'm all I'm like, you know, I you know, I live for people not, not agreeing with me. You know, that's my thing. I like I'd rather people not agree with me than so many people call and agree with me because I love a good debate. But they gotta make sense though. Right, they but can't they can't be you sounding yeah. illiterate. Yeah, she was ready to fight. She was knocking a bucket when she called in. She I made sense. Up. She was just angry. I told y'all she hadn't gone through the no candy coated quick sensitivity training yet. She 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 like, I think she's calling point, from like right? Rick's alley or something <laughs> because she was regurgitating those reads. You on Nene's payroll? <laughs> <laughs> like, Dre sent her. Miss <laughs> Bake New York, where you at? Uh, call in and say, hey, I'm busy. busy. I told y'all where he <laughs> is. You ready to go? Anyway, I guess we got anything else to talk about tonight. What we get? What were the other topics? I can't even see the list. Oh, candy. Tasha K. Like candy responding to the divorce rumors. Candy Murder responding medicine. to Kenya. Candy and Kenya talking about the reboot. Kenya saying that story that uh, her story wasn't told. Kenya salon opening in two weeks or Again. three weeks. That's what I say. I gotta Two make weeks. sure I note that on my calendar. Kenya we at the Usher concert. <laughs> and Married to Medicine. Ooh. I just cannot bring myself watch to watch Married to Medicine. I, I'm sorry. I really tried. I had to click that pretty, off after five Phaedra, minutes. Phaedra, the Phaedra stuff was pretty good. I, you know, I was watching it for Phaedra, but I stayed for the sweet tea. <laughs> You know what, Sierra content? You wanted on people because you be talking about Phaedra, 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 Phaedra. And then Phaedra is finally back on TV and you ain't even watch it. Sorry, I couldn't do it. It just looked too boring to me. It looked like it the wasn't boring. It was good. It was giving all reality television, wasn't it, Michelle? Because you got the new wife on T it on really there with the ex wife friends. And you I was know, mad that it was that it was good. Yeah, it was pretty. It was good. And it was Phaedra's, really good. Yeah, it. it was worth watching. It it, it sucked Man, me in. Really I was bad about that because you know I don't <laughs> like them like that. You're not trying to get Bravo of you. Yeah, I'm not. But I guess I'm gonna watch it. Go watch it on Mr. World Premiere or something. <laughs> but not don't Mr. you think World Premiere? <laughs> don't you think Phaedra may end up being um, overshadowed? By the other personalities on the show, Heavenly Toya, uh, possibly mm-hmm. Sweet Tea, maybe. But Phaedra got a big personality herself, and those reads, you know, Fa- you know, Phaedra come back with them slick reads. So, mm-hmm. it, I mean, they might mess well. We we shall see. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Heavenly can read like Phaedra. Mm-hmm. I think Phaedra a little bit better Not than Heavenly. Three it was nonstop entertainment too. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. Potomac wasn't that bad either. Yeah, Phaedra looks Phaedra looks like a different person. I mean, Did you watch good, Potomac, Michelle? Like, no, I don't watch Potomac. Sorry. <laughs> 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 I, I can't do it. We ain't never gonna convert you. It's okay. It's not that no. good. It really right. isn't. I don't like I don't know. Y'all got me on married to medicine now. I can't, you know. Maybe oh. we can get it. Maybe we could we can get Nene on Platomic since we got Phaedra on Married to Madison. She watching that, so if we get Nene on Platomic, then Michelle we can get her watch Platomic too. Yep, <laughs> there you go. That's the only That's way it happened. He said Platomic was good. Ooh. All right. Well, I guess that's all I got. You know, it's nonstop November. I'll be back tomorrow. Yay. <laughs> With more hate callers. <laughs> I know, right? I'll be on Patreon tomorrow night, too. I need to go to sleep tonight. 
I need to sleep out this good uh, right. anesthesia. They told me not to work today, but I did. Mm-hmm. That is how you was pronouncing it, though. <laughs> Platomic. <laughs> <comment>. Platomic. <laughs> oh, with the Michelle, little L in it. Before you go, yes, yes, I do me. have to ask you a question. Um, why are you? Why were you acting like Tamika Raymond wasn't attacking everybody over Usher? <laughs> And see, that's my problem with you, Michelle. Why do you do yeah, stuff like that? I wasn't trying to bring up old stuff. That was just an aside. No, we don't have to have a conversation no. about it. Because I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get a call from Tamika. <laughs> if you're going to tell the story, Wait. tell it all. You know good what that woman, she was going off on everybody over that man. Accusing and people of stuff that didn't happen. So why you okay. going to act like it was just killing uh, love to him? <laughs> <laughs> that was her children's father. Okay. Hey, um, good night, Marie. Make sure good you call night. back in tomorrow. <laughs> yes, Marie, we love you, Marie. Bye, have some, a good. Day. Have some bullet points next time, though. Yes. Yeah. So we can actually have a dialogue. You see, see Sierra content. <laughs> Let us know Michelle. when our queen has her babies. Is she having triplets? It's coming around the mountain. <laughs> she looked like she about to have twins or quintuplets or something. She do look like she that having belly. a belly. All right, bye, Michelle. All right, good night. All right. Good night, Dallas. Good night, Vail. Thank All you right. for hanging All out. You. All right, I'll see you next I'll time. Vail B. Yes, thank you, guys. All right. My dog about to... Biggie, you want to go for a walk? Want to go outside? He look like I be looking when I don't wrap my hair. <laughs> What's out of his face smushed in? Okay. Um, anyway, you guys, thank y'all for um hanging out tonight. It's been real. I will be back tomorrow. Patreon people, I will be on Patreon tomorrow. I might do an early one um tomorrow, but today I am hot. But I appreciate y'all hanging out with me and these few little topics that I had. If you're just getting here, we talked about Tasha K fighting. We also had the man that allegedly said it was who she kicked, but we don't think it was him. We think that was a skit. Uh, we talked about Candy responding to divorce rumors. Um, we talked about Candy, Keith Lee a little bit. We talked about Kenya um, and Usher. And we talked about Kenya's salon opening. She said her salon opening in three weeks and how she was upset at Bravo for not showing all of her story. And we also talked about Married to Medicine and Phaedra and Sweet Tea and everything. See? So it's been a good show. I'll probably put the, the um the timestamps up at some point. Not Michelle is shook. Anthony, I would be more shook if you called in one day. That would really shook me. Okay. Um, anyway, y'all like this video, please and thank you. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. I appreciate y'all. And if you would like to participate in the after show tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe to uh, patreon.com. I am ATLian. Follow me on all social media as well. Instagram, I am ATLian. TikTok, I am ATLian. Twitter, ATLian. Okay. I will see y'all in the next video. Good night, squad. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is your girl, Candy. And you are logged in to straightfromtheA.com. And you know, hey, I got to represent because I'm straight from the A. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, what you okay. want to say? Here we go. Hey, I'm Dr. Heavenly, and this is Straight From The A. Straight from the A. Where you from? I'm straight from the A. A town. I like this bad. That's better. What's going down? Straight from the A.